on Simmons Big League from the MCG. North Melbourne winning the toss and kicking to the main scoreboard into the first quarter. Ideal conditions for football. We might get some dew later on during the evening, but both sides very keen for a win here tonight. St Kilda swing into attack first of all through jobbling up towards their right half forward flank. Lockett and Law do battle for the ball. Down goes Lamb, the ball out of bounds, and it's going to be a boundary throw in in their right forward pocket. Taylor, that is actually with the long blonde hair. It's a beautiful night for football, Pete, just the same. And the crowd gradually building up. It's around about the 15,000 mark now, I would say. Yes, I think we'll probably get about the uh, 20,000 here, which is more than they would have seen at North Melbourne, of course. Ball still in play. Law tries to crash his way through, gets it out to Steele. Steele's kick is a short one out of bounds, but I think it might have been out of bounds before he got hold of it. Bob, uh, I noticed that Law's got the job of picking up uh, Lockett at full, uh, full forward, and uh, I just think that Hodges may be tagging uh, German. Well, I noticed that Keel is coming off on and off. Keel is stuck in the back pocket, so he'll probably come on and off the ball with Arsiri, and I think you might find Hodges is going everywhere that Jimmy Crackers go. Frawley oh. actually got the tap down. It goes to Taylor. Taylor can't get boot to ball. He's grabbed that he had possession, didn't appear so. The umpire has decided that it's not going to be a free kick, though, but it will be a bounce in St Kilda's right forward pocket. North Melbourne's fourth night game this year, including encounters out at VFL Park. Knocked down by Barker, who was a late withdrawal from the St Kilda side last week. So St Kilda in attack in the first minute and a half of play, but nothing really to uh, show for it yet. Knocked down by McDonald. What's a real scramble down there. No one making any headway. It's going to be a North Melbourne free kick. I think he goes that simply to break up the play. It's going to be taken by Hickey. Hickey in the left back pocket, wide towards the outer side of the ground. Knocked away by Jobling. The ball rebounds to Grant. Grant right on the boundary line. Gets it out to Peter Budge. But it's going to be, I think, a boundary throwing. Yes, it is. It's out of bounds. Two minutes gone, first quarter. And the ball on uh, the half forward line for St Kilda, about 50 metres around from their goal. At the back is Danny Frawley. Ball kicked back by Law out there towards the wing position. There's a go now uh, for Jobling. Side steps his apart, uh, opponent very well. The ball back there towards that half four line. The ball hits the deck. There's Jimmy Cracker getting a kick back towards the centre of the ground. No one can take the mark. Down goes Odds. They collar him pretty quickly. And the umpire letting uh, plenty of, well, giving plenty of latitude there. And he'll ball it up down towards that uh, half forward flank position for St Kilda. And they've been into attack since the first two and a half minutes, or just on two and a half minutes of this first quarter. Well, it's a vital game. The Dwyer's kick didn't travel very far. Peter Butts tries to cover the ball. Finally picked up that time by German up towards the full forward position, grabbed by Keel. A hand pass coming out right now, knocked on by Elvingston. Keel goes after it again. He overruns the ball. Atkins tries to pick it up. He's grabbed well, collared by Gamble. And Burns, a beautiful player, this fellow, was grabbed, but still gets a hand pass back. And there's the ball kicked away now, that time by Witte. Witte's kick is back towards that half-forward line, but the umpire's found a free kick, and it'll go to Hickey out there at half-back. Hickey, a very solidly built fellow, too. He tries very hard. Gamble couldn't hold that mark, but backing up well is Burns. Burns' kick is back towards the centre of the ground. But there's still that he's beaten for the ball by Budge. A good knockout by Peter Budge. He's a hyphenated name, of course. Picked up by Hickey, doing everything right at the moment. A good hand pass out to Dwyer. The ball goes back out there now. And once again, it's German giving the ball back to Steele. But he's put him under tremendous pressure right on his tail as Hodges grabs him. And backing up once again there is... Uh, Burns. And Burns' kick is back there. But the Free kick to North, I think. Yeah, it could is. have been, yes. Jobling in a bit of trouble there with, by the trainers. He, a tremendous effort by Jobling to knock that ball away, but he's hurt himself. Well, into the quarter by just over four minutes and no score by either side as yet. North Melbourne had a chance for Sheeny, though. Boots the Saints out of danger. Moment probably, perhaps at least. Jimmy Cracker went through, fumbled. Now a chance for North Melbourne. Picked up by German. He's had a few kicks so far. And this one witnesses the first score of the game. It's one behind. And that came up at the four-and-a-half-minute mark of the first quarter. Well, that could be a good tussle in the centre. I think uh, Burns and uh, German have been in the thick of things since the start. So they both normally play wide of each, uh, each other, the way they go about their, their centre play. So it'll be a case of who uses the ball the best. Fashini kicked the ball back into play. Dimitri tries to fire at the hand pass. Socket away for St Kilda by Witte. Now a chance for the Saints. It was cutting and beginning the hand pass out. Back towards the centre field area. That came from Keel. Loose ball, left half forward flank for St Kilda. It's Peter Budge breaking clear. He's got plenty of room. Left half forward flank. He's gone for a shot. Will it get there? It's one point, so scores level. 
at the five-minute mark of the opening turn. Well, at the moment, St Kilda looking more aggressive. And they're very keen to do well after what was rumoured about the coaching position down there during the week. Mark taken by our Siri for North Melbourne. And the players right behind Graham Jelly, German, shaping up as the best player on the ground so far. It's early, uh, can we say, nights as yet. Law back towards the centre wing position. Dwyer, or oh, dispossessed pretty quickly, but he might have been grabbed when he actually didn't have the ball. He had it at one stage, but the tackle incorrect, and Dwyer to take the free kick on right centre wing. He was a late withdrawal from their Tuesday night team in the Fosters Cup. Well, Jones went the, the punch away. Hodges gets it back to Burns. And I must agree with Lou, is a class player. Ackley at the back. Glenn Didding. Captain tonight with the absence of Wayne Schimmelbush. Burns again. Tries to pick it up. Very clever play. Gets it away from Spargo. Spargo tries to get it out and turn to Norman. That was well played. Norman's hand passes a high one. Onto Demetria. Well tackled by Taylor. North Melbourne, though, still have the ball. And that's the important thing. Up towards their left half forward flank. It comes to uh, Demetriou. Demetria right in the practice wicket area, runs his full 15 metres, a long shot at goal, could be a score, looks good, hit the bottom of the post. And so one point, North Melbourne lead by that margin at the six and a half minute mark of the quarter. Well, pretty exciting game so far, both strides uh, flat out as McConville juggles one, I think he'll pay that, he's got plenty of time to get rid of it now, he's grabbed, oh, good tackle by Jonas. And holding the ball, I thought it might have been a mark, I think he... Uh, I, would, I would have paid it personally. I think McConville was confused. Short pass, it'll be okay, and the ball marked here by Atkins. Always a dangerous player, this fellow. He's about uh, 45 metres out from goal on about a 45-degree angle. I don't know if he'll make the distance. There it is into the goal square. The pack set themselves, and it's topped over the top of the pack, and Hodges runs it through for a point. So North Melbourne move on to two uh, behinds to St Kilda yet to score. Seven minutes gone. Three behind, Lou. Three behinds, I should say. Oh, St Kilda has scored. I'm sorry about that. Three yeah, behinds to one point only. Ball back into play again. A hand pass coming out that time from Hickey. Over it goes to Jonas. Up towards the goals. That's a good shot. It's a goal. And that's the first goal so far of the evening at the seven and a half minute mark. It's North Melbourne. One goal, three nine points to uh, St Kilda. One point only. That was one occasion where the, the youngster from St Kilda and uh, he brought his player, that's Evans, from the half-forward flank. He brought Hickey right down the ground and actually made him an attacking player, enabled him to give the hand pass across on that occasion, and Jonas finished it off. You shouldn't come down the ground too far at times. I just think, too, uh, Bob and Pete, that the crowd is building up now. It's around about the 15 or 20,000 mark, so it looks as though they arrive a little bit late for these night matches. We see Burns go for a long kick up there towards the full forward position, punched out by Steele, good defensive play. Coming through as Lockett, showing a lot of aggression, but he lost the ball on the way through. Demetrio gets a kick in, goes Keel, but he's kicked it back towards the centre of the ground, which is down towards North Melbourne's end. Well picked up by McConville, the ex-Carton player. Out it goes to Jobling now. Another long hand pass over to Grant. Back it goes. Oh, bad hand pass back there, trying to find the Burns. He's grabbed by Demetrio. That put me on the ball. Well tackled, playing the uh, advantage rule. It's finally uh, picked up now by uh, a series. And McCann gives it over now, a long kick and the ball driven up there by Spargo, another goal. Good play on the part of North Melbourne. That's their second goal. They move on now to two goals, 3.15 for St Kilda, one point only. Just over the eight-minute mark of this first quarter. Yes, but St Kilda had a golden opportunity of, of going forward there. And we watch the finish off of it on replay as McCann gives it across now to Spargo. But St Kilda had possession of the ball and lost it with a poor hand pass. A bit of pressure was there. But that put Burns under real pressure. 14 points the difference in favour of North Melbourne. Nine minutes got in the first quarter. Now who's going to get it out of the centre? St Kilda's chance. Glenn Dinning in pursuit. It was knocked away by Peter Budge. Almost a trip there, but Grant finally gets clear. And this time he's gone for a long kick. Up towards full forward. Might be a mark for North Melbourne down there. And a free kick, I'd say. Yeah, Law will take it, whichever one it is. We'll have to kick over the mark, though. He gives, he gives North great service, John Law. Whether he's out at half back or as he is tonight, picking up Lockett at full back, there's uh, no greater trier in the game than John Law. One of those players that you could say correctly every time he takes the field doesn't play a bad game. I know it's corny too, Bob and Pete, but he's a great club man. Now he's still got to kick over the mark, John Law. And umpire Ian Robinson going in to explain that to him. 
Yes, he can come this way as long as he faces this way. <laughs> the old Henry Ford story. I can never, any, any personally, I know it's the, it's the law, but I can never quite understand why he just can't do what he That's did. That's right, yeah. And this time he does I'm kick not being the critically mark. umpired there either because the rule is there. Right. What did I say, Bob? The law is an ass, is that right? He is there, Kurt. <laughs> word's been thrown around a bit lately, hasn't it? <laughs> Especially today. Good thing this is not radio. If you're not back after half-time, Lou will wonder where you've gone. Picked up by Ackerley. <laughs> Ackerley's kicked back towards the left half-back flank for North Melbourne. Kangaroo's looking good at the moment. It's taken by Norman. Knocked away by Hodges. Now towards the centre wing position. Cunningham goes for long-hand pass. That's effective. Hodges again. Down towards four four. What a great man. I think we saw an indication of just uh, how slippery it is on top of the surface there when uh, Lockett took that mark on his knees. He just slid across the ground as Hodges now on replay and there's Lockett sliding forward. Uh, that gives an indication of sometimes why the players don't quite handle it 100% sure. Yeah, what a view on the ground so far. Let's watch the kick. Leggy sneaked it in and killed his first goal at the 11-minute mark of the quarter. And the Saints now go to one goal one, and they trail North Melbourne two goals three on seven's big lead. Bit of class about Lockett, Bob, isn't there? He's an excellent player, Lou, and uh, when he lines it up, we're watching the replay now, and when Lockett lines it up, I think he's one of the best kicks for goal in yeah. football. So Tony Lockett's first goal, and as we watch that mark again on replay, well, we were going to anyway. 15 plays 7. Seven's big league from the MCG. Tony Lockett bringing up some Kilda's first goal. Let's see if they can go on with it from here. That was a great tackle by Taylor. Picked up by Atkins. Hodges, another great tackle. Holding the ball, says the umpire. Some great tackling by St Kilda. And the Saints will go forward again from centre field. Free kick going to Gary Hodges. Just backward of the centre circle. Hodges out towards the right half forward flank. Ackley getting underneath the ball. Punches it away from Frawley. Or Dwyer had it and then dropped it and then throws it. Could have uh, been... Lucky enough to be penalised. Barker's tackle a little bit too high, I think. And sort of Barker having a few words with the umpire, and that doesn't achieve much. In the meantime, play continues. Norman out to Dwyer from left half back. And the ball goes short, but well intercepted that time by Grant. Some Kilda looking better now as the ball goes down there to Taylor. He's marked it. Taylor's a good distance out from goal. Quickly plays on a hand pass to Peter Budge. A running shot at goal. Let's see this one. What a goal! Oh, that might be a goal. Yes, it is. What a beauty by Peter Budge. That's a bit of class with a hyphenated name, isn't it? Yes. Scoreboard, two goals, 3.15 North Melbourne. St Kilda, 2.130. I must admit, I did think that Taylor had put him under too much pressure because Dwyer coming there and he's very close to the boundary. But what a glorious goal that by Peter Budge. I've got a big chance of getting the goal a day on World of Sport, I would say, Pete. Yes, fantastic shot for goal, that one. And then uh, it brings St Kilda to within two points of North Melbourne. Two points the difference. Just over the 13-minute mark, a free kick going there to uh, Cracker. We've got five players in the square, St Kilda loop. There's a, a, a to Phil Cracker, a fumble that time by Glenn Denning, but he gets himself out of trouble. Oh. He threw that run, he lost it. Umpire the advantage rule again. Burns doing a great job in the centre. How it goes now, a chance for uh, the ball to be picked up by Barker. It's a high kick, doesn't travel very far. The ball punched out for Cracker again. Phil Cracker actually threw that one away. Or was that Gimme Cracker? Finally, it comes back to Barker, a short pass. It's OK. And it's marked here by Taylor. And he's well within kicking distance. He's only about 30 metres out, if that. You can see the angle there. Got same the same haircut as Brereton, isn't he? Same position as Lockett, too, Lou, virtually. Good, good play by Barker. Spotted uh, Taylor. And Taylor now coming in for uh, St Kilda's uh, third goal. And he's off target. That's finally forced through for one point. So at the 14-minute uh, mark, it's two goals, three North Melbourne. St Kilda, two goals, two 14. And St Kilda at this present stage are looking good, looking very aggressive. They certainly are in the last few minutes, Lou. I thought they might have uh, dropped the bundle a little bit with those couple of quick goals as a great mark comes from Phil Cracker. Ah, oh, sensational mark. A hand pass back to his brother Jimmy's. The ball kicked high back towards the centre half forward. Actually doesn't reach that distance off the top of the pack. It's picked up here now by Whitty, showing a lot of pace. Goes for a long kick over their half forward line. Taylor in front. Oh, there's a great mark taken by Grant. You can take a grab too. This well, guy. this kid's a nice build too. Grant out there on that to half forward on about 45 metres out from Gulls. Drops it short. Lock it! What a ripper! Oh, that was a strong mark. Like a real full forward that time. 
and he's grabbed it well within kicking distance. And it's on replay, and there's no better mark than that. That was strength to get rid of Hickey, and he was way out in front of Law. There was no way known that those players were going to stop Tony Lockett from taking that. And Lockett coming in from about uh, 20 metres out directly in front, going for goal number two. This will put St Gilda in front. He's put it through. He doesn't miss those runs. So the scoreboard... At just on the 15 and a half minute mark, it's North Melbourne 2 3 15 to St Kilda doing pretty well this early stage. Three goals, 2 20. An excellent play by Witty at uh, centre half back to start that piece of play off. Uh, he started off right from defence as we watch on replay now. The kick from Grant after an excellent mark by Grant and an equally good mark by Tony Lockett as he. That was a superb piece of forward work. He gave the lead, finished it off with a lovely mark and an equally good goal. Five points the difference as we approach the 16-minute mark of the first quarter. Two goals to Tony Lockett. North Melbourne should get the ball out of the centre field area with R. Siri. His kick down towards half forward. Knocked away by Phil Cracker. McDonald backing him up. Cashini right behind the North Melbourne rover. Onto his brother Jimmy Cracker. Left foot snapshot. Won't quite make the distance. And Keel takes a timely mark in the right back pocket. Finds out the hand pass. Picked up by Elphinston. Elphinston around the wing position. The Saints doing a lot of the attacking at the moment as it comes out through the agency of Jobling out to the centre wing position on the member stand side Spargo fires at a not too good hand pass but it's picked up by German who had a lot of touches in the first 10 minutes now it's Atkins turn Atkins down towards full forward opportunity for Cracker but the ball hustled over the boundary line and it will be a boundary throw in in North Melbourne's right forward pocket even though Germans had quite a few touch I think uh, that Burns is the more effective player in the centre at the moment yes well, I think uh, German is ruck roving Lou because I, I do believe that Spargo is in the centre against Burns it's pretty hard to pick him up where they play today isn't it well obviously confused and killed with the previous centre bounce because as Bob said they had five players in the centre Burns again good play by Burns knocks the ball out wide a chance for Keel I think it was out of bounds too. <laughs> McCann takes the mark, but the boundary umpire says no. And Steve McCann at right half forward flank, about uh, 55 metres from goal, will put North Melbourne deep into attack once more. Well, wow, Jones in front, will just about grab that one, but the umpire didn't play it. Keel dives on top of it. I think it's Keel. Yes, it is. And it will be a bounce about 15 metres out from the goal. Plenty of players around the ball too, as the Saints try and crowd it. 17 and a half minutes gone in the first quarter. St Kilda lead by five points. Knocked down by Wow Jones. Now who's he got out there? Oh, Jimmy Cracker has a snapshot. That's through, I think. North Melbourne back in front by a point. So rove brilliantly by the North Melbourne Rover. 3-3 to 3-2. Sevens big league from the MCG. Thanks, well, I'll only repeat what I said last week. Uh, I had the pleasure of watching North Melbourne after calling in the double header last week. And I would go, as a spectator, I would go any time to see the Cracker Brothers and uh, Jimmy and Phil Cracker are just exciting players. Play by radar, don't they? 18 minutes gone in the quarter. North Melbourne lead by one point after Jimmy Cracker put through his first goal. 21 plays 10, uh, 20 in a big night flash on seventh big league. And this is Dover Bell if you do a good game as Burns picks it up now at centre field. Goes for the long kick over the half <laughs> forward line looking there for Barker. He's grabbed it and Barker's about 45, 50 metres out from goal. Now, Barker's usually a pretty long kick, whether he's accurate enough. Oh, there's a bit of a box on between Law and uh, Lockett. Law's got a difficult job. Uh, Lockett's already kicked two goals. There it is on its way. Doesn't quite make the distance. The pack fly. McCann got his hands to it. Couldn't hold the mark. And the ball dribbles over the line and out of bounds. About 10 metres around from the St Kilda goal. At the moment, North Melbourne in front by a point there. 3-3 to St Kilda 3-2. As we approach the 19-minute uh, mark of this first quarter. Crowd gradually building up round about the 20,000 mark. That's a lot more than they would have got at Arden Street. Uh, knocked away by Frawley. Comes back to Atkins. He knocks the ball back. Ducking the head. That time uh, was Norman. I think he'll get a free kick. Yes, the umpire's paid that one for around the neck. He goes wide to the wing position. Looking for a series. And this game little rover has taken the mark out there at half back oh, there. We have 15 metre penalty against 15 against him, yes. because he was going to hand pass. So it was, there was nothing wrong at all with what uh, Peter Budge did then. Peter Budge on the mark kicked a magnificent goal Peter Budge in the early part of this quarter the back is Wow Jones that's a great strong mark so this is Jones with the ball now out there on the edge of the square at the center field area short pass coming in as Hickey skids right across and takes the mark a little short of the center of the ground Ruckman well, should never try and short pass should they no should go for the long pass a long kick I should say 
<laughs> now I can hold that mark. Jonas has dropped it off. Burns has got one around the neck. The umpire's called play him back to Glenn Denning. A long shot up towards the goals. And one hand at that time by McDonald and finally forced through by Whitty for one point. So North Melbourne go to a two-point lead, but they're struggling here at the moment. They can't break clear this very determined Hawthorne so, uh, St Kilda side. 22 plays 20. Just over the 20-minute mark. Jones offside, bottom on, Luke. Ball back into play again. Out short pass, and Hodges have got the ball out there on that half-back flank position for uh, St Kilda. And a pretty successful player since he's joined the club. Flying high was Gamble, couldn't hold the mark. Oh, German got one around the neck. Oh, intercepted that time. Plenty of fumble and going. Joblin gets a hand pass oh. out. Down goes, uh, I reckon that was a free kick to Keir, but the umpire called play on. Peter Budge can't pick it up, but he won't give in. Dwyer's right on his tail. He still gets his kick right back there, and uh, Glenn Denning uh, couldn't get clear either. They stack up there on that half forward line, about 50 metres out from the St Kilda goal, and it'll be a baller. So 21 minutes gone of this first quarter. It's still North Melbourne, 22 points to uh, St Kilda, 20 points. Ball up. McCann against Frawley. Usually plays in defences on the forward line. Now there's a Siri going clear, goes for a pass. And that's beautifully intercepted by Grant. This fellow's a beautiful build of a player too, and uh, he looks a good player to me, Bob. He's got a great leap, Lou, as we, and he won the uh, mark of the day a couple of weeks back, and uh, he certainly does look as though he's come on. 21 and a half minutes gone. North Melbourne now back into attack underneath it's Fashini. And well, Frawley. Fashini going everywhere with Phil Packer, Pete. Yes, he, uh, he's been in defence most of the time. Well, Frawley at the other end of the ground, generally a defender, has been in attack. Well, McCann misses what looks an easy mark, but as Bob mentioned earlier, pretty slippery out there. And picked up by Frawley, the man we were speaking about, over to Burns. Burns goes for a short pass. Finding Lockett, beautifully delivered. And Lockett takes yet another mark. He's kicked two goals so far. Now, is he within kicking distance? Great play on the part of Burns, then. Well, Burns is the class player on the Certainly side. Certainly is, yes. Burns would walk into any other VFL club. Six kicks, one hand pass so far, Burns. And uh, he's got a bit of go about him, too, Burns, hasn't Has he? he ever. Yeah, a little bit of uh, fire in That's him. right. Back with Tony Lockett. And what's he done with that one? Is it goal number three? It is. And he thanks uh, Burns for the pass because it was a ripper, as we mentioned. The Saints by four points, 26 to 22. It must be just the games that I see Greg Burns play, but I have, I'm yet to see Burns put in a poor game. Me too, game. Bob. Yeah, he's a great player. He always plays well. And as McCann misses it, and uh, the ball is quite slippery, and it's not uh, as easy as it looks. As Frawley, after taking it from Barker, gives it across to Burns, and a beautiful pass from Burns. Lead wasn't bad either, was it? No, it takes two, doesn't it? It does. Three goals to Tony Lockett, 23 minutes gone in the first quarter. St Kilda by four points. It's shaping up as a pretty good match here tonight. Side bottom taps the ball further forward. Chance for Burns again. He does get boot to ball. Cunningham comes in to back him up. It goes through the legs of Dimitriou. Still a chance for Grant. The hand pass. Well, it was almost a throw over to Cunningham, but he delivers it down towards the centre-half forward position. Picked up by Peter Budge. Finally gets boot to ball. Elphinson, seemingly out of position, fires the hand pass back to Burns probably the best player on the ground so far what's he done with that one it's a good pass might have been a high tackle yes it was free kick going St Kilda's way and the recipient will be Evans at the left half forward flank or is it going the other way now it's Evans's kick up to Lockett got a hand to it in front of Law again but it's out of bounds so uh, still in St Kilda's attacking zone as we're just one and a quarter minutes away from the time on period in the first quarter 26 to 22, McCann and Frawley contesting the boundary throw in. Back it comes to Hodges, who tries to crash his way through. He gets caught by Hickey. Too high, the tackle. Interesting one. Bob, what did you think? No doubt at all. The, the, the tackle was straight over the shoulder. And uh, we watch again on replay. And there it is there. The, the arm of Hickey straight over the shoulder. Gary Hodges has the chance to put some Kilda further ahead. One of the veterans in the Saints side. Hodges from about 25 metres out. Has he kicked truly? I don't know. What in the goal umpire? No, only one point. So a bad miss by Hodges from point blank range, virtually five points. The difference 27 to 22, 24 and a half minutes gone. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. I'm just looking at the game so far, Bob, I would say that St Kilda should be a little bit further in front because they've had most of the play into their attacking zone. They certainly have, Lou. They've been far the better side around the ground. Demetrio with the ball now, a little short of half back. 
Out towards Dwyer. At the back there was uh, Peter Rabat. The umpire said he got on his back and he was right too. So Dwyer to take that free kick at half back. Short pass coming out to Steele on his own. Steele there on that wing position. Boots the ball down towards uh, Jonas. Jonas flies. Got one hand to it. Couldn't juggle the ball. Knocked away by Gamble. Picked it up nicely on the boundary line. He's up ended, but the umpire said it's out of bounds. So there'll be a throw-in from North Melbourne's half-forward line about 75 metres around from their goal. They're trailing by uh, five points at the moment into this quarter by just on 25 and a half minutes. Burns has dominated the centre, and of course their full forward locket is, uh, as we see Burns, the man I was talking about, kicking it off the ground. Glenn Dinning thinking thought he did like, right, he's put it out of bounds. So it's out of bounds on the centre wing that position on the outer side. And of course Lockett, the full forward, has already kicked three goals. So North Melbourne have got a bit of trouble up in that position to try and stop him. They've got Law on him. Knocked out that time by side bottom. He got up pretty high. Picked up by Demetrio. It wasn't a good hand pass, but it comes off all right because Steele grabs it out there at half back. The kick falls short. Grabbed by Keel. Not doing a bad job. Looking for Grant. And then we see Norman go down. He couldn't get clear. They pile on top of him. It comes out again. And the ball finally driven up there by Spargo. But they're doing pretty well. They're backing up well. McConville ran straight into Jimmy Cracker. Couldn't get out of that one, but still tapped the ball back out there to Keel. Good play. Out it goes now to Gamble. Gamble at half back. Sends it long. Looking there for uh, Taylor. Did he get interference to Taylor? He's on the shoulder. I thought so. Against to Ackley. So they're looking good at the moment. St Kilda as the ball goes back there towards Glenn Denning and Frawley. Backing up at the back that time was McCann. A hand pass to Hickey. A little bit slow to get rid of it, but he finally kicked it out wide. McDonald coming in. Elphinstone's right on his tail as he finally kicks a grubber out towards that half forward line. It's Phil Cracker chased here by Faschini. He's got the job of tagging him. What a job. And there's Dimmy coming across. Nearly collected Faschini. And they collect you. They certainly collect you, the Cracker brothers. You go off with a bang with them, don't you? Waiting there for the umpire to throw the ball back into play about 50 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. They're trailing by five points, 22 plays, 27. Jimmy Cracker going through, he goes down. Hodges on his back, a Asiri got collared and the umpire said it'll be a ball up as we approach the 27 and a half minute mark of this first quarter. A very exciting game. St Kilda four goals, 3.27 for North Melbourne, 3.4.22. Very crowded bounce. North Melbourne's attacking zone only a few metres out from goal. Knocked down by side bottom. Jimmy Cracker gets offloaded. Atkins close to the boundary line or keeps the ball in play. Well, McDonald interferes with an opponent down there in Elphinston. And Robert Elphinston, who at one stage of the season, or pre-season, was going to go to Richmond, will take the free kick. Good long kick too. Covers about 55 metres and a fine mark taken by Hickey. Not doing a bad job in the first quarter either. Marking over side bottom. Four kicks he's had so far. Make it five. I couldn't see Bob's thumb. And a German got tripped up. He'll take a free kick at right half forward. Accidental, I believe, but nonetheless, they still count, don't they? I thought they might have tripped each other. You're, actually, you're probably right. 28 minutes gone in the quarter. German. Number of possessions against his name. Lofty punt kick into the goal square. Jonas had a fresh air shot, tried to boot it through. Ava Silvio Faschini, very scrambly down there, and the only solution to that is a bounce, and that will take place right on the kickoff line as Peter McConville is last to get up. Big chance for North Melbourne, although St Kilda have been doing most of the attacking in the opening term, and the ball off the hands of the package through for one point. And the scoreboard now on sevens, big league, 3 5 to 4 3, a four point advantage to St Kilda. As we approach the 29-minute mark of the quarter, Silvio Faschini goes for a short pass. That's effective, marked by Robert Elphinstone in left back pocket. Up to the half-back line, Burns goes for the knock-on. Covers about uh, 25 metres too. Glenn Didding straight out of bounds from the Brownlow medalist. And that will necessitate a throw-in on the centre wing position. St Kilda's defence, Bob, is standing up to the strain pretty well at this early stage of the match. Well, they've done a great job, Lou. I've been quite impressed with uh, some of those young players. Side bottom. Knocking that one down to Keel. Keel, another of the goers down to St Kilda. Back to Burns on a Cunningham. Cunningham's hand pass is a long one. Evans over the top. Now here's a chance for them. It's picked up by Danny Frawley. Frawley has a haphazard sort of a kick up towards Lockett in the full forward zone. Plenty of North Melbourne defenders. It's taken by Dwyer. Dwyer looks for a hand pass onto Steele. He's dispossessed pretty quickly. Back to Law, who fumbles. Three St Kilda players are there. Barker couldn't handle it. Back to Dwyer, who's well shepherded. Dwyer's kick might be one downfield. 
It's one for hitting the player who was shepherding it, was Pete. And uh, Siri will take the free kick at the right half-back flank. Approaching the 30-minute mark of the quarter, our Siri goes for a short pass up to the centre wing position, and the mark is taken at that location by Donald McDonald. And there's the siren for the end of the first term. A pretty interesting stanza too, with St Kilda doing a lot of the attacking, but leading only by four points. 4-3-27 to 3-5-23. St Kilda lead by four points as we begin the second quarter at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on our big Friday night edition of Sevens Big League. 4-3 plays 3-5. Tony Lockett has three goals. St Kilda kicking to the right in the second term. Picked up by Grant. Grant's kick is a short one. Now it rebounds out to Hodges. Hodges up to the full forward position. Lockett again. Moore still on him. Now a chance for Cunningham. Cunningham break clear. Shoots at goal. Off target though and a bad miss. Come through for only one point. Nelson Kilter had most of the uh, scoring opportunities in the first quarter. I don't think anybody needs, needs to say anything to Jeff Cunningham. He realises uh, what a great opportunity he had then. He well, picked it up beautifully. Just the same, Bob, didn't he? Top player when he's really running. Yes, yes he is. It? it was a one-grab job. David Ackerley looking for a lead across the half-back line. Now he's found one in Donald McDonald, who fumbles. The ball only a few metres out from goal, taken by German. That's out of bounds. And the boundary umpire in perfect position to see it. And the end result will, of course, be a boundary throw-in. Been a good duel by German and Burns. Burns has probably been the more constructive of the two players. And once again, we'll see a boundary throw-in. Nobody making any headway, possibly a few metres further around the boundary line. McDonald, Glenn Dinney in the background. Danny Frawley at the back. Glenn Dinning over the top. Peter Budge, number 22. All down towards the forward pocket. Glenn Dinning and Jimmy Cracker are there for North Melbourne. The latter picks it up pretty well, doesn't he always? Short pass, trying to find out there. That was Norman, who's not done too badly in the first quarter. Up towards full forward again, and the mark taken for the Saints down there by Burns, by uh, McConville. Burns put it oh, forward. Frawley it is, Frawley. Yeah, Burns put it forward to Frawley. On replay now, we see the kick coming from Burns, who's had an excellent game so far, and Danny Frawley. For, normally a full back. Right. Yeah, he's played on the forward line all tonight, so far. From 45 metres out, has he kicked it like a full back? I think he has. It's only a point, so the Saints missing golden opportunities in the early stages of the second quarter. I think he's played there a bit this year at centre half forward, Pete. 4 5 to 3 5. Ackerley brings the ball back into play again. A goal, the difference is the ball comes back into play again. At the back is Peter Budge, couldn't hold the mark. It's a chance for North Melbourne to go further forward, that time through Norman. A hand pass coming over again from German. Back uh, to German again, that time from Norman. They're playing between themselves to uh, McCann. He got rid of that one quickly, got one from McConville to Jonas. Picked up again, beautifully anticipated. Backed up well, that'll be a goal. Good play on the part of Jonas then. Backed his uh, judgment all the way up. His own teammate made a mistake fumbling the ball. Four goals, 5.29 apiece into this quarter by just on three minutes. And two goals to Peter Jonas now. And we see a little bit of inexperience here as McCann puts it over the top. Taken by Jonas, a hand pass forward. And uh, young Witty there, not watching the ball, running straight at his opponent. And uh, he only had to turn around, he would have been able to take possession or tap the ball away. Scores dead level, just over the three-minute mark of this uh, second quarter. And it's been a damn good game. The crowd, have, crowd has built up here now around about the 20,000 mark. So it's certainly a lot bigger than they would have had at Arden Street, North Melbourne. Knocked out by... Jones, the ball comes back now to German. He's had his share, kick, share of kicks as McCann gets a hand pass back to a series. This could be dangerous, a running shot for goal. And little a series put it through for another one for North Melbourne. So they're starting to forge ahead now. They're a goal in front. Five goals, 5.35. North Melbourne is in Gilda, four goals, 5.29. There it is again. On replay now, we see McCann, who's had a hand in the last couple of the hand pass. And our Siri, normally a right footer, being able to put the ball straight on the left foot and make no mistake. Just on the four minute mark of this second quarter, North Melbourne in front by a goal. 35 plays, 29. The centre bounce. It'll be uh, McDonald getting, uh, or comes down to crack it. Did he get one in the back? The umpire didn't think so as Demetrio finally gets the ball over the Glenn Denning. And boy, can he kick a football. Down it goes to Phil Crack, who punches the ball out. Looking for McCann, scoops it in, but can't pick it up. 
Right on his tail there was Woody, gets a hand pass back to Spargo, turns onto his left boot, a hand pass coming back now to Fairley on the ground. Short kick, oh, it's a go for Cracker, but it's cut for the beat from Cracker. No, no, it beat the St Kilda playing for a goal, so North Melbourne hit the front rate 12 points now. Six goals, 5.41 North Melbourne to uh, St Kilda, 4 5 29. That's from a fairly point of view, you might say luck's a fortune because it's uh, absolutely amazing that that ball wasn't touched. As on replay now, we see Fairley take it from Spargo and we see, could he possibly have been a free kick that Could one? have been, yes, against Cracker. Uh, surprising that it uh, wasn't touched. You've got three goals in three minutes, Lou, 41 to 29. And the interesting part about that, of course, and Kilda had two sitting shots in the first couple of minutes of that quarter and they could manage only behind. So North Melbourne, things going their way so far on the second quarter as Jobling has a shot down towards Lockett. That might bounce through. No, luck not going St Kilda's way. And the ball will be out of bounds. Yes, it will before kick, Lamb please. can pick it up. And it will go to Glenn Dinning. Ross Glenn Dinning, Brownlow medalist. Right back pocket for North Melbourne. Long kick. Sees the ball knocked back by Grant. And picked up by Law. Over the head of Wow Jones. Up towards McConville, his former Carlton teammate on centre wing. McConville goes with a hand pass to Cunningham. Cunningham from left centre wing. Long kick. Down towards full forward. Almost taken down there by Burns. Easily some killed his best player so far. Hand pass comes out to Atkins. And it goes to our Siri at the right half back flank. He's gone for another one onto Dimitri at centre field. The way he goes, he can pick up a kick or two down towards the half forward line. Almost a market cracker. That's Phil Cracker. The umpire says no. Play on as the call. And it's going to be a bounce at North Melbourne centre half forward position at the six and a half minute mark second quarter. 6 5 to 4 5. North Melbourne by two. Dimitriou, bad hand pass. I, don't know, I think he might have been looking for Jonas, but he couldn't find him. Spargo gets it out to Jimmy Cracker. Jimmy Cracker has a shot at goal, but it's through for only one point. And that makes a difference now. 13 points on Sevens Big League. 6 6 to 4 5. 42 plus 29. Overnight low of seven degrees has been forecast. The players warming to the task at the moment. Out to Burns. Wires there. Glenn Dinning off the ground. Oh, was that a good pass or was it what to Spargo? Well, they're always good pass when they come up, Pete. Yeah, they. Beats class any time. Now, Spargo is about 45 to 55 metres out. On an angle. He might have got the distance, we'll wait on the accuracy, that's not a bad sort of a kick, I'll tell you what. It's a shot that's true, and North Melbourne bring up another goal, their seventh, 7-6, seven, 48, that's his second to 4-5, 29. That's what Glenn Dinning doing the right thing, particularly in these conditions, and on replay we see Spargo's kick again, a lovely kick. And a nice goal from Spargo, he kicked five goals last week, he really knows where the goals are. Spargo's second goal, North Melbourne lead by 19 points now, 48 plays 29 as we approach the eight-minute mark of the second quarter. And St Kilda badly needing a goal as McDonald sends North Melbourne deep into attack again. There's a good mark taken to defence by Gamble. Gamble's got the ball out there at half-back. Shoots the ball across to the, towards the centre of the ground. At the back is Frawley, couldn't hold the mark. Norman's there, Dwyer's there too, he can't get clear. Now it's Norman coming, he's not playing a bad game either, Bob. Doing well, look. Ball shot down there towards McCann, taps the ball on, grabbed by Fairley, a hand pass comes back to Demetrio, in trouble, grabbed around the neck, the umpire called playing a short pass, coming over to Spargo, would get their last goal, and he's put it through for another one. That's his third. That's a goal to Spargo, that's his third, as Peter said. So it's North Melbourne starting to break away now, eight goals, 6.54 to St Kilda, four goals, 5.29. A good move by North to throw Phil Cracker onto the ball, because that means that Fushino, Fushino, Fushino is going everywhere with Phil Cracker. Now Keel going on and off the ball with Siri, and that meant that Burns came out of the centre, and I think they've just realised that they must have Burns there, so he's gone back in for this bounce. North yeah. Melbourne have kicked five goals in seven minutes. Nine uh, minutes gone of the second quarter, and North Melbourne looked good as the Siri breaks clear again. A hand pass to McCann. The ball hits the deck. Oh, McConville caught one. The umpire called one. They're playing on a rightly so over to McCann from the Siri. Up towards the goals, Elphington comes out there with Fairley. It beats them both, and the ball is out of bounds. And I think that was a free kick uh, there for St Kilda. The umpire 
calling it right. The ball out of bounds in that forward pocket position about 10 metres around uh, from the North Melbourne goal. And they've dominated this second quarter. Their score is 8-6 uh, to 4-5. Or cleared away by Alpix. That was a shocking kick. Comes back to a see, but backing up well there was uh, Kiel. A hand pass. There's a chance for uh, St Kilda to break clear now as the ball is taken away that time by Hodges. Out towards that half back line. A fumble by uh, Peter Butt, but he said he got it in the back from Guy, so he'll take the free kick out there on the wing position. It's grabbed now. This is Jobling out there at half forward. He should drive it long up there, looking for Lockett. Lockett and Law, they both go. Punched away by Lockett. Tapped on again. Uh, by uh, Steele, picked up by Fashini, it's a goal, good play by St Gilbert Fashini, and they're bouncing back, we certainly hope so. Eight goals, 6.54 North Melbourne to St Gilda, 5.535. Yes, and uh, Fashini now is jobbling on replay, puts the ball forward, Law and Lockett competing for it, the loose ball tapped on there, Glendinning overrunning it, and Fashini, very Loves a goal, Silvio Fashini. Not that many of us small fellas did. <laughs> I can say that again. I need a goal post. Silvio Fashini bringing up his first goal and St Kilda's first of the second quarter. Danny Frawley at centre half back now. Gamble centre half forward. 11 minutes got of the second term. The Saints' first goal of the second term. McDonald tries to thump it well downfield but didn't get very far. Picked up for St Kilda by Burns. Cracker. Now towards the left half forward flank. The Conville overruns the ball. Now he's got a second opportunity to make good, which he does so. That's a very wide kick out towards the boundary line. In fact, it dribbles over the line. And it will be a boundary throw and a little bit short of the Saints right half forward flank. Three goals to Spargo for North Melbourne and three goals to Lockett for St Kilda. Donald McDonald comes in to contest the ruck duels. With Wow Jones, it's run by Jones. Hodges is there, Cracker. Or oh, getting ridden into the ground down there is German. The free kick will go against Peter Budge. It's Dwyer, rather. Dwyer to left half forward flank. McCann in front. It's almost been a free kick to Jonas there. This time it is picked up by German down towards the full forward position. But it's a mark for St Kilda to be taken by uh, Grant. He's got a 15 metre penalty as well. He'll get another one now, too. So he'd be right to take advantage of that. Grant now from half back. Could have been against Gamble. Yeah. It'll go to McDonald. McDonald at half back for North Melbourne. Ball very slippery. Spargo tries the off the ground shot. Not successful. Jonas is more so. The two number 17s. Keel should get there before our series. He does, but the ball beats him over the boundary line. And it will be a boundary throw-in in North Melbourne's right forward pocket at the 12 and a half minute mark of the second term. Not a bad crowd under these rather cool conditions at the MCG tonight. An overnight low of seven degrees has been forecast. Fairly sets himself. Knocked away by side bottom. Picked up by McConville. His kick is a short one. Cracker was in there. Might have been fringed. He has done. And the free kick will go to Cunningham. No, it's not. Well, Cunningham's got it now. It was an uh, Odgers kick originally, I think. Now towards Keel, Grant, and he get clear, great tackle, holding the ball. Ross Glendinning, a little bit of experience there. Glendinning, the acting captain for North Melbourne tonight. Keep dropping a little bit short, which is something that uh, Glendinning doesn't let happen very often. Side bottom, twist his way out of trouble, goes for the hand oh. pass, Byrne makes a mistake. Might get one in the back. A little bit lucky perhaps, but he has been St Kilda's best player far and above in my book tonight. Long kick by Burns. That gives the Saints a chance. Down towards Lockett. That might be a free kick. Yes, it is. It was a mark. Was it a mark or a free kick? No, a mark. He would have paid the mark. Uh, really sliding into it. We'll Let's watch again on replay now. The kick coming forward. Yes, he's got the mark. Looked a mark to me. Yes. Could have been a, a free for in the back anyway, but Tony Lockett, who's already kicked three from limited opportunities. The lighter Tony Lockett. 14 minutes gone in the term. There's Lockett from 35 to 40 metres out, shoots at the scoreboard end goal. And the goal umpire says only one point to the Saints. And so the scoreboard on Sevens Big League says North 8-6, the Saints 5-6 at the 14-minute mark. 18 points the difference, so uh, St Kilda still within striking range as the ball goes out there towards the half-back line. 
Ball hits the deck, going after it now as Gamble. He was grabbed, didn't have the ball, and he'll take the free kick. A chance now to send them back into attack again from that centre wing position. Oh, that was a bad hand pass back to uh, McConville, but luckily for St Kilda, he picked it up okay. Drove it across there, the big side bottom, and dropped a sitter. Should have grabbed that one. Didn't show much go about his play that time as it's driven out wide now. There's Jimmy Cracker on Hodges going for it out there towards the wing position. Jimmy picked it up beautifully. Look at him go out there. That's got to be a free kick at the umpire's call play on. Short pass that time by uh, Steele. It falls short. No one can take the mark. They all pot on Elphinstons there. They're all having a bit of a go. Demetrio kicked it off the ground. Out it goes wide to Atkins. Going after it now is Phil Cracker. He's on the boundary line. Goes for a pass. Trying to get the ball back to a Syrian German. Germans grabbed the mark. He was fighting against odds that time. The Burns, a short pass. It'll be OK. And uh, McDonald dropped the centre. What a drop that time. Hand pass coming back in out of Elphinstone. Did you see them making some mistakes? Both sides are slow. Oh, look at that <laughs> hand pass. Over it goes to Spargo from side bottom. And there we see uh, McConville get it. Back it goes now to Keel. The ball finally taken away by Hodges again. They've made some mistakes, both sides down there on that uh, forward line, but kick the umpire's field, found eh? a free kick down the field. It'll go to Peter Budge. 18 points the difference in favour of North Melbourne into this uh, second quarter by just on 16 minutes. Dimitri, Dimitri's going Dimitri to has box. gone off the ground as we see the ball picked up now. A hand pass coming out wide to German. Back it goes to Dwyer. Dwyer kicks it long up there towards the full fourth position. A great mark taken defence by Hodges. He's not doing a bad job in this last 15 minutes. Ball back again. St Kilda getting the ball away through Elphinstone. Chance for Burns. He's got it. Quickly plays on a hand pass. This could be dangerous if it bounces okay for Cunningham. A long hand pass coming over now. Oh, he fumbled at Taylor. He's got to try and get it back. He does to Burns. A left foot snap at goal, but he's off target. Oh, they missed about. They had the chance of a lifetime, St Kilda then. So it's eight goals, 6.54 North Melbourne. St Kilda, 5.7.37. 17 points the difference as we approach the 17-minute mark of this, the second quarter. A very interesting game indeed, Bob. Yes, I think we saw there that you just uh, cannot hand somebody experience. There's only one way kids like Taylor and uh, some of those other youngsters out there for St Kilda are going to get experience, and that's by playing. Bob, is St Kilda handball happy? No, I think it's the inexper inexperience that's showing, Pete. They're, they're making mistakes, but at least they're having a dip. Well, certainly having a dip, and it's not a bad sort of a game in view of the greasy conditions out there. That was almost a free kick. Dwyer goes in. Now, is that holding the ball, or is it a free kick to Hickey, or is it against Grant? What is it? Now, it's going to be a ball up, which will take place on St Kilda's right half forward flank. 35 for North is Norman, two is side bottom. And Dwyer got one a little bit too high and rebounds to Jobling. He's opposite number 32, oh. tries to crash his way through. Good tackle by German. It's a North Melbourne ball. Arsiri takes the hand pass at centre field. Arsiri up to half forward, trying to find Phil Cracker. Not doing a bad job on him either, is Silvio Faschini. He's already kicked a goal himself. Down goes Fairley. Out to McCann. Frawley in pursuit. It's a high ball. Arsiri underneath it and takes the mark. Could be a 15 metre penalty against Lamb. This little fellow uh, is a Amazing little bloke, Pete. He's got a lot of intestinal fortitude, hasn't he? He's a heart as big as himself, Lou. And now, is uh, this a 15-metre penalty? I don't think so, Pete. Uh, you know, he didn't come in and really try and knock him over. He only tried to hold him. Mark Arsiri with the kick. It will land just about in the goal square in front of Jonas off the hands of the pack. One point, says the goal umpire. 18 and a quarter minutes gone, second term. Three goals, the difference. 8-7 plays 5-7. And St Kilda got those goals in uh, about a seven-minute period from about the two-minute mark of the quarter. Kicked away by McConville, off the hands of Elphinstone. Oh, almost a free kick, four in the back. McConville got one a little bit too high as he gets rid of it out towards Grant. Grant on the left centre wing position, it's very hard to balk out there. Hickey's just about got him. Under Cunningham, lifting his play in the second quarter. Cunningham looks for a hand pass. That's a better one. Under Welcome, still a long way from the half-back flank, down towards left half-forward. The Saints go forward again through Danny Frawley, up towards the full-forward position, and lock it. Law in front. Scooped away past Peter Budge, and rushed through for one behind at the 19-minute mark of the term. Frawley back on the forward line. Pete Gamble and down in defence again. 8-7 to 5-8, 55 plays 38. As we await David Ackley to bring the ball back into play and he'll favour the outer side. And just over the 19-minute mark, uh, Ackley's been pretty quiet tonight, Bob. 
He's well, he's had his hands full down there. Young Taylor's been quite impressive. Going after it is Witty, but picked up by Spargo. Back to German out there on the wing position. A hand pass to Hickey, trying to crash his way through. He's grabbed by, uh, by St Kilda's. The ball finally comes over to McDonald out there at half forward. A long kick up towards the full forward position. There's a go now for Love. Back it comes now to Norman. Straightens up and fires. It's smothered. Kicked off the ground by Jonas. Down goes Keel. He can't get clear, but he's still going after it. The umpire will ball it up. Plenty of pressure down there by both sides. Just on the 20-minute mark, three goals of difference in favour of North Melbourne. But St Kilda not going down without a fight, and it's a long way from the finish yet. Knocked out by side bottom. Ball pushed back again. Kicked off the ground by Jonas. Hit the post. It'll be a point. So it's 19 points the difference. Eight goals, 8.56. That's... To, that's no, it's 18 points. Oh, there was 19. 18 points, the difference. Now it goes wide, and a good mark taken by the ex-Carlton uh, half-back flanker. That's uh, McConville out there on that half-back flank on the outside, outer side of the ground. Drops it short. Grant got up at the top of German. Hickey goes through. That should be holding the man against uh, Grant, but the umpire said no. A scramble out there on that wing position. The ball is finally forced out of bounds. I thought it was a free kick against Grant then, Bob. It's a kill effect, certainly didn't lose. Waiting there for the ball to come back into play. Well, neither Ruckman got advantage of that one. Back it goes to Jimmy Cracker. He was uh, grabbing, he didn't have the ball, and uh, Jimmy Cracker will take that free kick out there at half forward, a good distance out from goal. Driving it down there towards the pocket, looking for Fairley. Got his hands, but couldn't hold the mark. Ball kicked off the ground by McConville, playing it safe out to Gamble. Gamble and Norman come in. Peter Budge falls on top of Norman. And the umpire said, play on. As it's picked up by Elphiston, doesn't know where to go. Got a hurried kick back towards the uh, half-back flank. Or a fumble at time. But I just won't give any taps at all. Did he throw it out to Keel? But he's clear. The umpire gave it the all-clear. As the ball is punched away that time. Picked up by Cracker. A hand pass coming back to his brother, Phil. So it's Phil Cracker out there on that centre wing position. A short pass going over to German. German's kick is a long one out there towards the half-forward line. It's Witty and Spargo going for this one. Spargo's showing the most, uh, best pace, but he didn't show much judgment. It's picked up now by Witty. Out it goes wide. Ball tapped on away from Lamb by Hickey, who hasn't done a bad job tonight, uh, Hickey, either. Both quite well, though. Ball out of bounds on that centre wing position just over the 22-minute mark. It's eight goals, eight plays, five goals, eight in favour of North Melbourne. 51 is Lamb. Knocked down by McCann. Atkins... The hand pass is on. Taken away for North Melbourne on that occasion by... Uh, that was Hickey. And the mark is taken by Spargo. In towards the forward pocket. Love. Short pass. Jonas on his own. Thought about going on. Keel stood on the mark pretty quickly. And he has a chance to bring up his third goal. Couldn't have a more appropriate number, Love, either. 40, Love, could he? 40, Love, yes. Yeah. Should be on the tennis court. I don't know whether he'd like that or not. <laughs> well, have 15 or 30, couldn't he? <laughs> Could have, yeah. <laughs> Peter Jonas, point blank range, won't miss from there. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I should have said shouldn't miss from there. I have to cross it out now. I'd already put it down as a goal. 8-9 to 5-8. 57 plays 38 at the 23-minute mark of the quarter. Well, that was probably the easiest shot he's had all night. And uh, it didn't bring up four points. And St Kilda still very much in this match. That five-minute burst by North Melbourne from the two-minute mark of this quarter could make the difference to them. That's a mark to McConville. Get out onto the centre of the wing position and Burns. Far and above St Kilda's best player in my book as the mark is taken at right half-forward flank by Trevor Barker. The Saints captain goes into the pocket and that will be out of bounds as Law hits the fence pretty solidly. 15 possessions, Burns 13 and 2. It's not bad, is it, up until uh, this stage of the match? We're still a minute away from time on in the second quarter. Lockett doing the ruck work against McCann. It's tapped out of Frawley. Frawley can't get clear. Cracker will hustle the ball through for only one point. And that one rushed. And so 8-9 to 5-9. Once again, the difference is 18 points. And once again, Ackerley will bring the ball back into play. Ackerley this time bringing it towards the member stand side. Trying to find German. But the ball punched away from him by Grant. And it's going to be a boundary throw it on St Kilda's right half forward flank. About 55 metres from goal. Side bottom. Placed Wow Jones. 
at about the 20 minute mark of the first quarter we haven't seen Jones since didn't appear to be injured side bottom possibly the more mobile of the two Ruckman now the ball has been retrieved knocked away by McCann picked up by Taylor down to Lockett Ball recovers the quicker of the two players will look for a hand pass which he has done taken away by throw. Atkins but it's a uh, throw said he threw it oh goodness me well he was on the blind side of us and the umpire obviously in a better position I think he's indicating that uh, in his opinion law threw the ball up before he hit it well he's within point blank range he's kicked three goals one I think so far let's uh, take it's it. lamb that's got it lamb sorry Bob lamb with the free kick and he hasn't scored a goal so far the same applies he is within point blank range and what's he done with that one it's a goal a badly needed one for St Kilda close to half time his first as I mentioned and in the time on period it's 12 points the difference 8-9 to 6-9 on seven's big lead well let's put uh, St Kilda back in the game again as we watch again on replay and we'll have a close look at John Law he picks the ball up oh I think he was pretty hard on him just the same yes, by the letter of the law he was probably right but yeah. I do agree with you pretty hard <laughs> oh golly well I can say that umpire's got good eyesight 12 points the difference 26 minutes gone of the second quarter St Kilda back in business now as we see side bottom get the tap back pushed out by Cracker that was Jimmy Cracker the hand pass comes out the umpire said there'll be a throw or holding the man holding the ball and the free kick to go to Jonas out there on that half uh, forward flank balks nicely he's clear now a go for the long kick and that is a good kick up towards the full forward position ah oh, great mark taken there by McDonald that was a strong mark Put his name on that one didn't he certainly did and that's the way to play it Tyler as we watch now and the only player that really looked like getting it Alphonston was attempting to punch the ball away but was nowhere near it uh, McDonald judged it to perfection another thing too is you can mess about with that hand pass but you can't beat that long kick by Jonas can you it's certainly an experience again by St Kilda nobody on the mark he was just able to to run away and take the ball down well he's only about uh, five or six meters out on a bit of an angle but should kick this one there she is that's a goal so we see North Melbourne getting a, a vital goal before this uh, halftime siren nine goals eight nine goals nine sixty three North Melbourne to St Kilda six goals nine forty five well, that's a difference of 18 points what's that mark again it's in the long kick and it is a long kick from Jonas an excellent mark by Donald McDonald well he's a strong mark we're back in the center now as we approach the 27 and a half minute mark nine nine to six nine a difference of 18 points St Kilda want a goal before the siren goes for the end of the second quarter the ball knocked out by McCann grabbed by McDonald kicked that last goal pushed on by German back it goes to Spargo picking it up now as Alfredson turned nicely away from the pack gets it out wide but he's put it out of bounds on the full and German will take the free kick out there on that centre wing position a good distance out from goal he's gone for a short pass he spotted McCann is on his own at half forward there's another long kick into the goal square players set themselves off the top of the pack and it'll go through for one point and I still say you can't beat that long kick when you're well within kicking distance nine goals 10 64 North Melbourne to St Kilda 6 9 45 and we're just over the 28 minute mark of the second quarter and Burns has been shifted out of the center well is there any specific reason for that Bob well they must reckon he's not doing the job Lou I'm a bit surprised <laughs> yeah I'm a bit surprised as love has grabbed it finally comes back now to Norman a running shot at goal this could be another goal to North Melbourne just a very handy one before siren time 28 and a half minutes gone and that's Norman's first goal 10 goals 10 70 to North Melbourne St Kilda six goals 9 45 well that was North Melbourne's seventh goal in the quarter it's, it's coming back the mark missed Tapped on beautifully by Spargo and Norman doing well to pick it up and straight through the center. An excellent piece of play. Three goals to Spargo, two to Janus, the major contributors for North Melbourne. North Melbourne lead by 45 points now as we approach the 29 minute mark of the second term. It's been a great quarter for the Kangaroos. They've kicked seven in this stanza. And that's almost a mark. In fact, it is paid as a mark by the umpire. Oh. And it will be a 15-meter penalty against McDonald, which will be taken by Jobling. St Kilda led by four points in quarter time, but North Melbourne steamrolled them in the first 10 minutes of this quarter at the back as McCann and takes an easy mark. 
Judge that to perfection in front of Trevor Barker. Oh, we haven't seen much of him tonight. He's, he, he's off. Now Barker has a chance to make amends. Barker fires out the hand pass. Cunningham. Back to Barker. They're messing around. Some of the St Kilda players' handball hasn't been great tonight. This could come off. Oh. Great mark. Lock it. Oh. Superb grab. That's a classy mark, uh, Bob. A real bit of class there, well, isn't it? it? Reminded me of Peter Hudson at his best. The way he manoeuvred that. Used his body beautifully. Yep. Law trying to punch the ball away, but just couldn't reach it. And it looks like Taylor is in the centre, so Taylor and Burns doing a straight swap. Lockett, who's already kicked 3-1. Should make it 4-1 from there, and he has done it to goal. And St Kilda stay within striking distance on seventh big league. That goal came up at the 30-minute mark of the second quarter. 10-10 plays 7-9, a difference of 19 points. On replay again, we see Barker take the ball. It passed the tackle. He gives the hand pass across to Cunningham, and instead of going on to the left foot, he gives it back to Barker. A nice kick. Once again, we see the value lieu of the long kick right. down the ground. Leaving, making it a two-out duel. Law and Lockett, Lockett, just the two of them there. Probably say we're old-fashioned saying that, Bob, but uh, the more you handle the ball, the more bigger the chance you've got of losing. 19 points the difference after Tony Lockett had brought up his fourth goal. We're playing time on in the second term. Our Siri for North Melbourne breaks clear from the centre. Long kick by the Little Rover. Old-fashioned or not, it's uh, certainly covered the distance. Saints defenders working overtime now. Pashini comes in. The ball over the boundary line. It will be a boundary throw-in in North Melbourne's left forward pocket, or is it going to be a free kick? Pashini holding his uh, arm, it looks like. He's in a bit of trouble, too. He, he's had trouble with his shoulder he often. Has. I don't know. Look, it just, if that's the case, it just happens so simply. 31 uh, minutes gone of this uh, second quarter. A fumble going on there. They're trying to bustle out of the pack. Finally picked up by Jonas. A free kick against McDonald for uh, holding the ball. That was a pretty tough decision, too. Must be for Sheeny's shoulder, I think, Lou. He looks in real trouble. Yes, he's in trouble for Sheeny. Collarbone, I'd say. Oh, there we go again. Oh, he's right. I want to put that. They're uh, trying to put it back in for him, Bob. Did you notice that? <laughs> happens at Kaiser, well, they like, say, Lou. <laughs> he wants this again. He's gone down. He's, look, he's jerked his shoulder there because he's in trouble. And the trainer does come over and uh, mess about with the arm, and he's back on the field again. And Bob, you know all about that. Well, the ball back out there towards the wing position, into the quarter by just on 32 minutes, and St Kilda go back into attack that time through Taylor. Out it goes to Barker, it bounces the wrong way. Steele's there, he fumbles the ball. Ackley's there trying to give him a hand, but still not, can't pick it up. Good play by Burns, at least he's kept it in. St Kilda's attacking zone about 50 metres around from their goal. St Kilda 30, 51 to North Melbourne, uh, 70. So it's a difference of 19 points. So St Kilda, if they got a goal before Siren, time is a chance in here as Barker kicks it off the ground, but he's hit the post. Oh, he had the chance then. That would have been a handy goal before Siren time. 32 and a half minutes gone. 18 points the difference. And it's been a very entertaining game here tonight. And the crowd has built up, as we said before, around about the 20,000 mark. Fashini out there now, his shoulder looks OK to me. There's the Siren to win the second quarter. And we see North Melbourne, 10 goals, 10.70 to St Kilda, 7 goals, 10.50 to... And we begin the third quarter, the seventh big lead from the MCG with North Melbourne leading by 18 points, 10-10 plays 7-10. North Melbourne outscoring the St Kilda side by 7-5 to 3-7 during the second quarter. A chance for the Saints to get further forward, the ball is booted up towards their half-forward line. Opportunity is for Lamb, picks it up well, he's well shepherded, he's gone for a long hand pass on the Taylor who fumbles, still gets right foot the ball, that's not bad, but it might only be one point. And it is. So once again, early in the term, the Saints wasting opportunities, they had two sitting shots at the beginning of the second quarter, from which they could bring up only two points. Well, there was the lack of talking there, Bob, they should have told Lamb that he had plenty of time to get his balance properly, but the kid was off balance when he kicked it after regaining his feet. It's not the player himself that's got to know where he's just going about. And Spargo takes it. And Spargo's been a very dangerous forward too, but he got caught on that occasion. McDonald picks the ball up, tries to get clear. Jones in pursuit, he gets clear of him. Up to the centre wing position, McCann misses the mark, but it's very slippery at the moment. Phil Cracker, his brother running alongside of him. He doesn't uh, go for him though, strangely, out the steal. Steal and turn the hand passes on to Jonas. Jonas up to Atkins at the right half forward flank. About 35 metres from goal, shoots, and he's missed it. Just shaved the, the, uh, the goal post on the wrong side. And once again, only 1.3 goals, the difference, 71 to 53. So either side scoring a point in the opening minutes. 
in the third quarter. Ball back into play. Jones goes the knock on. Tried to find Burns. Knocked on by Spargo. Peter Budge and Evans are in there, but Glenn Denning beats both of those. Well shepherded by Dwyer. The Brownlow medalist has a shot at goal and well off target. And it bounces out of bounds. It will be a throw in in North Melbourne's right forward pocket. Only a couple of metres from the behind post. Fairly. And Jones. At the back is Jonas. Well, Jonas just about kicked it too. McConville gives the ball over and turn to Gamble and St Kilda get clear. Oh, he took a bit of a chance going with the bounce, but he clears OK as he drives the ball. A beautiful pass there to Barker. Coming right down to that half-back line from the half-forward line. Out it goes towards Fort crawling Glenn Denning, but Glenn Denning's too experienced that time and takes a great mark out there on the centre wing position. Kicked back by Glenn Denning to no one, and a good mark taken here by Alfonston. We've got the ball that could be a 15-metre penalty against McCann. Now he's called play on now. He gave the 15 minutes, 15 metre, I should say, and the ball going back there to a series. I think he should have uh, stopped that and let uh, Alfonson take the advantage instead of calling play on. Off the top of the pack again. Going through as Witty gets a kick back over the uh, Saints half forward line. Ball punched away that time by Glenn Denny. He's shaping up well this third quarter. The ball back towards uh, North Melbourne's half forward line. Jimmy Cracker had a clash that time with Hodges. The ball picked up again by Witty out wild towards Burns on the wing position, but it's out of bounds. Hackswitch down towards the St Kilda half forward line, about 80 metres around from their goal. St Kilda was 7 11 53 to North Melbourne, 10 11 71. A difference of 18 points. We approach the th uh, three and a half minute mark. A nice hand pass by uh, Keel with trying to find Grant, but it's picked up by Hickey, who had a pretty good first half, too. Punched away by the St Kilda defence. Falling on top of the ball that time is. Uh, Witty couldn't get clear. The three North Melbourne players there to try and stop him from getting out. And the umpire will ball it up as the ball is picked up finally by Hodges. A ball up round about centre half forward. Still about 45 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. They're in front by 18 points. Hand pass coming out that time from Grant. Over to Cunningham. Picked up by Elphinstone. The ball out wide now towards centre half forward. Glenn Denning tapped the ball on. Picked up by Steele. A fresh air shot. Down goes Barker. He's got a push in the back. And Barker's got the ball around about the centre field area and ready to send uh, St Kilda deep into attack. They should get it down quickly to lock it because he can take a mark. He's coming out the back of the pack. The ball punched away that time by North Melbourne. Picked up by Cunningham. He's in trouble. Hand pass coming out to Barker. A short pass wide and Keel's got the mark about uh, 50 metres out from goal. Just on four and a half minutes gone of this quarter. That's the third and it's 18 points the difference. Good duel down there by Lockett and Law. As Keel goes back for the kick, won't get the distance with this one. McDonald on his own. Oh, had a swing and a miss. Burns from 12 metres out has put it through for a goal, I think. Yes, he has. He's been a great player for St Kilda tonight. Made that one look easy. He brings up his first goal. St Kilda's eighth, 12 points the difference at the five minute mark, third quarter. Yes, Burns is back in the centre in this term. He's on replay. We see McDonald have a a fresh air shot, uh, not with the boot, but with the hand. And Burns coming well down from the centre, picking it up and making no mistake. The goal by Burns, keeping the Saints well and truly in contention in this match. Two goals the difference, just past the five-minute mark of the third term. It's a crackerjack game of football under these very slippery conditions. McCann couldn't pick it up. It's left a little Atkins to do so. Atkins from half forward. Fires down the long kick to the full forward position. Gamble behind. It's a mark for Fairley, though. And this will be a very quick reply if he gets it, and he shouldn't miss from there. Let's watch the mark again. So I, I know that Frawley is a great trier at centre half forward, but he's a better he, fullback. He'd be at fullback for mine. He's, he hasn't done enough at full forward to justify leaving him there, and uh, I don't think uh, Fairley would have taken that mark against Frawley. Two goals to Fairley, a very quick reply to uh, to North Melbourne, and once again the difference is three goals, 77 plays 59. And we're just on the six-minute uh, mark. It looked as though they may have uh, moved uh, Burns out of the centre in that second quarter to give that forward line a bit of a boost, uh, Bob. Well, they may have wanted to give him a bit of a rest or whatever, Lou. I couldn't understand him going out of the centre. German was picking up a few kicks uh, in the first term. Uh, he had the uh, Spargo as an opponent, and uh, in the second quarter, Spargo took them apart on the half-forward line and kicked the... Uh, Two goals in the quarter and made it three for the game. Just on the six and a half minute mark of this third quarter, still 18 points the difference in uh, favour of North Melbourne. Knocked out by Jones, back on the ball. 
That's Frawley trying to get out of that pack then. Picked up by uh, Little Kill, but he ran into plenty of trouble. Breaking clear now was Atkins. Drives the ball over the half forward line. Punched away that time by Gamble. Picked up by Love. He's grabbed back to uh, Fairley again. Over to us here. It could be a goal. Over the Little Rovers off target and through for one point. He's a little go of that fellow. A series 11 12 78. North Melbourne to St Kilda 8 11 59. It was one of those occasions where the advantage rule didn't prove to be an advantage because the umpire had paid the free kick to, to Jason Love and uh, our series a little bit off balance, not finishing it off. Ball back into play by Hodges. Looking out there for Elphiston. Coming across there is McCann, but he was too strong for McCann. Picked it up, goes for the long kick. They've got to get it down quickly to, uh, to lock it down there with that full forward position. A battle going on out there on that wing position. The umpire's going to ball it up. Fairly not too happy on the result. He reckons Gamble was all over the top of him. It'll be Wow Jones going for the knockout against McDonald. Knocked out by McDonald. Comes back to North Melbourne's half forward line. Coming in to pick it up now is Dwyer. The kick is long down there towards the full forward position. The ball tapped to the ground again. Picked up by Spargo. He's dropped it. But the umpire's paying the advantage. Real over to uh, Cunningham. Ball back again. There's a chance now for uh, the ball to be driven up that time by Keel. Keel over the half forward line. No one can take the mark. They're falling over left and right. Down with Ackley. They get one on the back. I think he might have. Yes, it'll be a free kick to Ackley round about the centre-half back position. Been a little bit quiet tonight, Ackley. Short pass to McDonald. McDonald out of half-back goes for another pass. And the ball grabbed here this time by Love. Love's kick is from that centre-wing position. Flying high was Keel. Couldn't hold the mark. Good play by Asiri over to Jonas. This could be a goal. Snaps him up and that's through for a goal. That's his third. So North Melbourne... Move to 12 goals, 12-84 to St Kilda, 8 goals, 11-59. On replay now, we see McCann just do enough to stop Keel from taking the mark. A hand pass then from Arsiri, and Jonas, a lovely left foot goal. Three goals to Jonas and three goals to Spargo, two to Fairley, the major goal kickers for North Melbourne. Nine minutes into the third quarter, 12-12, 84 to 8 11, 59. North Melbourne going on with the job. Jones and McDonald, won by Jones, picked up by Asiri. He was uh, dispossessed pretty quickly. And the free kick going to St Kilda will be taken by Peter Keel. Keel from centre field, puts the Saints into attack. Barker! What a grab! What a mark! Look at this in the back of the That was an old time Barker's mark, was it, Bob? Certainly was. And the replay, there it is. What a beautiful mark. He just hung in the air. Yes, a real old-time Barker mark. Now, can he kick a goal? He's about 55 metres out. Need to be a good kick to score from there. And touched off the hands of McDonald. Threw for one point. Deserved better. He's always hoping that they're going to kick a goal, aren't you? Yep, the top it off. 24 points the difference. Cracker. Brings the ball back in this time. Marked by Ackerley. He's at right half-back flank. Long kick. By the North Melbourne defender around the centre wing position. Mark missed by McConville. Picked up by Cunningham. Gets the hand pass over to Rodgers. Rodgers in turn gives it straight to Hickey, who says thanks very much. Dwyer in pursuit. Peter Budge. Number 35 is Norman. McCann overruns the ball. Chance for our Siri. Only 12 metres out. Takes the hand pass and puts it through for another one to the Kangaroos. That's his second goal. It came up at the ten and a half minute mark of the quarter. Five goals. The difference now: thirteen, twelve to eight, twelve on seven big lead. <laughs> on me, on me, play. Excuse me. But uh, is he love get the hand pass to our Siri? And our Siri having the choice of giving the hand pass into the square, but having plenty of time, he was just able to run the extra distance and put it through. 90 plays 60, five goals the difference. There's no such thing as an in joke, but everybody knows that Lou spills coffee. And he's done it again. Edna, take note. Free kick going North Melbourne's way at centre field. Norman. And up towards the left half forward flank. Our Syrian Keel. This time Keel wins out. Knocks the ball some 10 metres downfield. Cutting him going through very solidly. Gets it on the burn for two goers on the same side. That was actually a drop kick. I reckon it was, Pete. <laughs> Accidental, I'm sure. Burns gets beaten on this occasion by Ackley. 
McAdoo's kick around the bar. Time behind play, Pete. A nice old bit of a dish up down there. Play continues at the left half forward flank for North Melbourne, though. Jimmy Cracker gets clear, fires out the hand pass onto our Siri again. Here's a chance for a goal. Atkins, about uh, 20 metres out, has put it through, I think, for only a point. One behind. The North Melbourne deserved better. That came up at the 11 and a half minute mark, 13 13 to 8 12. Now, there was a report in that. He's got the pencil out. I don't know who was reported because I was watching the play. Well, there were plenty of players in it, so we'll have to wait till after the game, I should imagine. That's uh, the difference now. Uh, and we're at the 12 minute mark. The ball out there on the Burns picking it up now. A hand pass coming over to Elphingston. St Kilda Batty needing a goal. Frawley's there. He upended Cracker. But uh, he regained his recovery pretty well that time. Uh, Phil Cracker, a hand pass to Steele. North Melbourne take the ball away from the danger zone. This is Jonas out there on that half fourth. And he's played a fair game tonight too. Up it goes towards the full fourth position for North. The pack, and there's a strong mark taken. Oh, he's not playing that. Yes, he is. I think he should. Big uh, mark there to Wow Jones. So he's got the ball at the full back position. Jones goes wide. Looking there for McConville. He's ex uh, teammate from Carlton. And, uh, McConville takes the mark. A 15 metre penalty against uh, McCann. So this brings McConville right up to the half back uh, flank position. 13 13 91 North Melbourne looking good now. 8 12 60. Ball hits the deck. A hand pass coming over there from Woody. Back to Burns. Great play. Put his foot in uh, Love's mouth that time just about. The hand pass back to Burns. He's played a great game tonight. He's grabbed by German but still gets the ball back to Elvington under plenty of pressure. He's clear. The crowd going mad there at Burns as the ball is grabbed now by Spargo on the centre wing position. A perfect pass to McCann. He'll have a running shot for goal and could kick this one. Now he's up target and it's through for one point. Crowd weren't too happy about Burns then. Well, he's put his uh, boot right in uh, Love's mouth, but I think Love's OK. 13, 14, 92, North Melbourne, St Kilda, 8, 12. Their score is 60 points on the board. The board hits the deck again. Chance for St Kilda to get clear through uh, McConville. Over it goes to Hodges, who hasn't played a bad game either for St Kilda. Back there towards Frawley. Frawley drops the mark, but butters up pretty well. Gets a hurried kick. Has a chance for Barker. He's grabbed it. Lily played on, but he's decided to go back for a kick because he's pretty close to the goals. He's yet to score a goal. He's only about uh, 20 metres out on a slight angle. Took a spectacular mark about five minutes ago. It was the old Barker in action. We've seen him take some great marks since he started in football. Certainly have. Waiting on Barker now. There she is on its way. And that is a goal. So that's his first. And a badly needed one uh, for uh, St Kilda as we approach the 14 and a half minute mark. It's North Melbourne 13, 14, 92 to St Kilda. Nine, uh, nine goals, 12, 66. And we saw there just why Danny Foley is at centre half forward. He competed, and back, backed up afterward, and just got the short kick into a lane ball Barker to take that mark just by competing at centre half forward. And that's the reason why they do have him there. 92 plays 66 as we approach the 15 minute mark of the third quarter. And the umpire waiting for what a match. Sure. and Cunningham having a few oh. words. And the umpire going down to speak to them. And McCann comes in to uh, say a few things. Cunningham tells him where he should go. Well, we'd love to have the players with microphones. It'd be very interesting, wouldn't it? There'd be a few bleeps in there, I'm sure. Well, St Kilda runner coming out to tell Joffa that wiser heads perhaps should prevail. You wouldn't want to be in charge of the bleeper. You'd have a sore finger before you the would. day was over, <laughs> wouldn't you? You really need the seven-second delay. <laughs> you would. Fifteen and a half minutes gone in the third quarter, 92 to 66. That was Barker's first goal. Can the Saints go on with it from here? Cracker puts the ball up into North Melbourne's attacking zone again, and the mark is taken by Robert Elphinstone. Elphinstone from centre half back. Good long kick by the St Kilda defender. Ackley goes to spoil. That's effective. Opens it up for Dwyer out there on the centre wing. Peter Budge in pursuit. So too is Grant. He's opposite number 35. Norman just can't gather it in before it's over the boundary line in front of Evans. And there will be a boundary throw in. Temper's a little bit frayed at the moment, Pete. Becoming so. Since that report about five minutes ago, which was behind the play. In a little bit of a dish up. Knocked down by McCann. Beats side bottom for it. Ball socket away up towards where McDonald takes advantage of that. His left footer, Cunningham and Spargo contest. Free kick on the shoulder going St Kilda's way. 
And it will go too. Joffa Cunningham. Cunningham just up from the back pocket. He's gone for a short pass. Taken by Lamb. Lamb from the right half-back flank around towards the centre wing position. Trying to find Taylor, but the mark is taken by Grant. He chipped in well. Being the kick down there for St Kilda. And towards their right half-forward line. They came from Peter Budge before. Now it's over to Burns. Easily their best player. Now a chance for a goal. This is Taylor. And snapshot looks pretty good from here. And I think he's put it through. He has. The Saints are coming back again. And the scoreboard on the 7th Big League shows North Melbourne 13-14, 92. The Saints trail by 20 points, 10, 12, 72. Well, every time they've looked in a hopeless position, Bob, they've bounced back get to get within striking range, haven't they? It's just when it looks as though North Melbourne going to take control. And we see Barker to Burns, out to Taylor. And Barker's done well in this quarter. And Burns has done well right throughout. And Taylor's looked a handy player. Well, just on the seven and a half minute mark of this third quarter, 20 points the difference, Marty. Two plays, uh, 72 in favour of North Melbourne, but St Gilda are still there with a chance. We've got a long way to go now as Fasini comes in after it. He runs into a brick wall, couldn't get clear. It's Cracker driving that ball down there. That's Jimmy Cracker down towards the full forward position. Gamble grabs it, fairly got it to his back. There's a series. A snap at goal, it might get there. Going along there with it now as McConville but carts it over the line and through for one point. Very nearly got there, didn't it? Just about. 93 plays, 72. It's been a very entertaining game here tonight. And this crowd has enjoyed every moment of it. Both sides putting up a tremendous performance. Out it goes to Keel. And Keel hasn't been a bad player either. The 2-17s classic. It's Keel coming away from a series, but the series won't give in. That's the sort of plays. Jonas smothers that one, but it beats uh, McConville on out of bounds. So it's out of bounds about uh, 65, 70 metres around uh, from the North Melbourne goal. They're in front by... Uh, 21 points as we approach the 18 and a half minute mark picked up by Atkins. Picks the ball, it's a high kick back towards the forward pocket. The back there is Witty goes the punts. Cracker couldn't pick that up. Coming out of the pack was Jimmy Cracker, picked up by Peter Budge again out wide. Fairly fumbles the ball and it's out of bounds again. Top one from Gamble. They've had a bit of a tussle, those two, Gamble and uh, Fairly too. Still out of bounds on North Melbourne's half four on about 70 metres around from their goal. It's side but bottom to go against uh, McDonald. Picked up by Burns. He's played a crackerjack game tonight as the ball goes out to Grant and Ackley. Grant's in the front position. Ackley puts him off balance and uh, we see the ball go out of bounds. But this time it's on uh, St Gilda's half forward line. Still about 75 metres around from their goal. Another goal from St Gilda will certainly make it interesting. And Lockett's already kicked uh, four goals. They should get it down to him as quick as they possibly can because he's such a strong mark. And he'd have a big chance against the law, just the two of them having a go for the ball. Back it comes there to Ackley, but intercepting that time uh, was uh, German. The ball back over the half forward line for North Melbourne. The convoy hits the deck. The ball pushed on. Going through as Keel taps it on, looking there for Whitty. Whitty goes down too as a chance for North Melbourne to get clear, but the ball is finally tapped out of bounds. Tapped out of bounds by McDonald. Into the quarter by just over 19 minutes. It's not... Evans coming off, jobbing to come on. 13, 15, 93, North Melbourne. St Kilda, 10, 12, 72. Boundary throw in, picked up by Cracker. Still deep in North Melbourne's attacking zone. Keel goes in, could have always got a free kick. Tell him to kick his own teammate's head off then, too, uh, Keel. It was uh, Gary Hodges, wasn't it? I think it might, might have, have been side, side bottom, 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 yeah. yeah. They'll bounce. Only about 40 metres from goal. McDonald inside bottom. Tapped down to McConville. Look for a hand pass. The ball knocked further afield up towards the edge of the square. Hickey knocks it back. Picked up by Cunningham. Cunningham's gone for a short pass. Or a hand pass, rather. That's Peter Budge with the ball. Budge out towards the left. Half forward flank for St Kilda. They all fall over there. Might be a free kick. No. Barker. Chance here. He's gone for a pass. Can he find Lockett? No. It's badly directed. Law. Backed up by three North Melbourne defenders. Ackley comes out with the ball. He's gone for a short pass and still takes the grab on the right half back line or has he got it yes he has peter budge standing on the mark back to ackerley again ackerley long hand pass finds phil cracker phil cracker at half back onto dwyer on center wing dwyer full of running it's back towards center field and a good mark taken by keel that's shaping up as one of the duels on the night between oh, ackerley and keel uh, uh, keel too uh, bob this is quite a, quite a good game but say to us last year yeah, both right. of them have done well ball up from taylor well, Lamb it was towards the full forward position, out of bounds in the pocket now, in front of Law and uh, Lockett. And at the 21 and a quarter minute mark, it's going to be a boundary throw in, but only about uh, 20 metres around from the goal. 
Crawley, number 24, to contest with McCann, number 16. Glendinning at the back actually won it, picked up by Peter Budge. Rocket in front, oh, good defence by Law on that occasion to get the ball clear. And picked up for North Melbourne by Norman. Norman's kick out to the half-back line, loose ball. They're all having a bit of a dip in there. Who's going to pick it up? Hickey, out to McDonald. We look for Cracker. Good tackle on foot. Cracker is uh, just about caught with the ball. It's loose, picked up by Elkinston. Elkinston's kick is long down towards the full forward position. And Lockett, what a great mark! Well, it just goes to show what a quick, long kick does for Lockett. Bob, it gives him a chance, doesn't it? What a superb grab that was. He beat two players pointless. Look at this. Ackley and Law. I don't think there's anything need to be said about that, Mark. So Tony Lockett, who's kicked four goals, one. From 40 metres out, can he make it another one? The kick looks pretty good. The Saints still in with a real show here at the MCG. 22 and a half minutes got in the third quarter. The Saints' 11th goal, 13-15 to 11-12. And both sides really competing here. It's uh, an excellent game to watch. Elphinstone coming right up there and a lovely tackle from Grant. Elphinstone coming into Lynn support and the replay shows an excellent kick. And once again, if you get it down there quick enough and these players have got the run on as Tony Lockett now with five goals on the board is in there to competing in the ruck. 15 points the difference and we're playing 23 minutes in the third quarter. And it's Lockett coming out with the ball. He's the champ at the moment. It's picked up by Fashini. Back to Lockett again. I don't know why they put him in the ruck, but it paid dividends then. Back to Fashini from Keel. And it's a long kick up there by Fashini. Back towards side bottom. It'll be against him for holding the man against Law. Umpire Payne, the Advano, is calling it back. Now, Bob, would you have moved him into the ruck after he's going so well at full forward? He's kicked five goals with limited chances. He hadn't. It's the only uh, kick I, I think he'd had in this quarter. But uh, nonetheless, I would still leave Lockett at full forward. Uh, you win got the games of football by kicking goals. and They've had plenty of chances up the ground, and I, I would certainly leave him there. Well, he's kicked five goals, and they're only trailing by 15 points into this quarter by just on 23 and a half minutes. And as we've said before, it's been a pretty good game here tonight. Ball punched away. There's Keel going through. Went through without the ball. Glenn Dinning's there. It's kicked out of the pack. Coming in to meet it now is Atkins. He's attacked there by uh, Barker. It's Atkins clear. Going for a short pass. Coming in as... Uh, oh, he got one on the head. Ooh. The umpire said play on uh, to Burns. But it comes out to a series now. I think he might have been acting a bit. Finally, it comes over now to uh, North Melbourne as they send the ball down towards their half forward. And they can't get clear. Finally picked up by Gamble. That was Lamb giving it over to him. Back it goes now towards Hickey. Cops one on the shoulder, but he still shows a bit of strength. He tried to buckle his way through the pack. Got through a bit, but not enough, as we see uh, Keel's kick is smothered. How it goes to Dwyer. Down goes Lockett. In comes Peter Budge. He copped one too. He spins out of the pack nicely. Now it's... Uh, it's jobbling, I should say. Back there towards uh, side, but he's got a go. 29 points, the difference. Points, they've got a real chance now, St Kilda. 13, 15, 93, and North Melbourne to St Kilda, 12, 12, 84. Well, with that uh, goal by side bottom, the move of, uh, of Lockett to the ruck certainly came off because we see Lockett there. He really has competed since going into the ruck. He mightn't have got the ball himself. He has had one handball, but he's real solid, strong, competing in the centre, enabled his teammates to get the ball down. So that move has come off, but I hope they don't leave him in there too long. 25 minutes gone of this uh, third quarter. Only nine points the difference. The Saints back in there with a chance. Off the top of the pack. Ball tapped away again. Free oh, kick. free kick. It'll go there to Spargo. And Spargo ready to send North deep into attack. And Spargo's already kicked three goals himself. Could be a mark to Elphinstone. He's got good this quarter too, hasn't he? In the St Kilda side. Played very good this third quarter, uh, Elphinstone. Great third quarter. Elphinstone. Looking for a lead across the half-back line. He's found Grant. Grant at the left half-back flank. Eight kicks this pass. quarter, Pete. And that's a splendid effort on the keel from Hodges. His kick up to the centre field area, trying to find Lockett again. He disposed of one more Melbourne player down there with a good hip and shoulder. That was Norman. Now the Saints can go forward again as it's picked up out there on the right half-forward flank by Jobley. Side bottom, can he make it? No, not side bottom, but Cunningham. Can he make it another goal? Into the goal square, almost a And Taylor might be on an angle, but he's very close in. He'll be brought around, of course. And here's the mark again. 
Yes, and Taylor taking an excellent mark. And once again, I can only say that uh, Jelly has done the right thing because Lockett has been a great player in the ruck. Certainly has. He's got it. It's a goal. That's Taylor second, and the Saints come back once again at North Melbourne, the scoreboard. 93 to 90, three points for the difference as we approach the 27-minute mark of the quarter. Well, we couldn't have seen a better game here, Bob, and we all thought it might have been a bit of a walkover, but the Saints have put up a tremendous performance. It's in a great piece of play by Tony Lockett there as he thumped the ball wide to enable Joblin to get the ball down. And a nice piece of play by Cunningham. And a good mark here, right in the goal square. Strong, courageous mark by Taylor. Taylor's second goal makes it only three points the difference at the 27-minute mark of the third quarter. McCann in the ruck for North Melbourne. And it's going to be still Lockett in the ruck for St Kilda. It's won by McCann, which way is the bounce going to favour? It's palmed onto Fairley, but he can't take it. The ball up towards Gamble. Now it's a North Melbourne ball, but it doesn't travel very far. Up towards their half-forward line, it's a real scramble. The trip, says the umpire, didn't see that. And it's going to be a free kick to be taken by whom? Let's see, it's going to be Spargo's. From the edge of the square, towering torpedo punt kick is through for one point. That was a mammoth kick. So a further point makes it four points in favour of North Melbourne. 94 plays 40, nearly 28 minutes gone. Robert Elphinstone to bring the ball back into play. Elphinstone towards the outer side. Trying to find Gamble. Plenty of North Melbourne jerseys are out there, though. It's taken by German. And a good mark taken by his opposite number 29. That's Gary Hodges at the halfback flank. 28 minutes gone of this third quarter. Only four points the difference. The Saints in here with a chance. Out it goes to Burns. He's played a great game tonight out there at half back. Shoots the ball back out towards the wing position. There's a race going on. It's picked up now by Ackley. Showing a bit of pace around the boundary line. German's kick is a short pass. Punched away again. There's Cracker going through. That's a hand pass from Phil Cracker. Comes back to Jimmy Cracker. A snap and goal. Will it make the distance? Yes, it does. Great goal by Jimmy Cracker. That's his second. So we see in North Melbourne 14, 16, 100 to St Kilda, 13, 12, 90. This has been a top game here tonight. A great comeback by St Kilda. It's, uh, it looked early in the quarter as though some, the North Melbourne might run away. And once again, whenever North Melbourne do come back, those two Cracker brothers seem to be in the thick of things. Certainly do, Bob, and they're great players. It's still a very tight game here. It's not over by a long shot. Ten points the difference, just over the 29-minute mark of this third quarter. I reckon we've got about three minutes to go before the end of this one. Knocked out that time by McCann. Beautifully picked up by Byrne, but he ran into a Phil Cracker that time. The ball pushed out by Hickey, coming across as Cunningham. He fumbled it, picked up by Hickey again. McCann's grabbed too high. It'll be round the neck. Player indicating that a little bit stiff that time, Lockett. He certainly revitalised that play around the centre since going there. We were a little bit critical of Jelly too. We must apologise to him. This is really giving it some bite. Played a great game up there at full forward. He's kicked five goals and he's really put some life into that uh, into the centre uh, bounce area. Ball punched out again by Gamble. Burns missed that one. This is picked up here now by uh, Phil Cracker out there on the centre wing position. Down it goes towards the half forward line. That'll be a free kick and a mark, I should imagine. But Norman, he said no. It's picked oh, yeah. up by German now, and he's put it through for a goal. He may have played the advantage rule there, I should imagine. Yeah, he did pay the free kick, Lou. OK, it's 15, 16, 106 North Melbourne to uh, St Kilda 13, 12, 90. And that just shows you the uh, little bit extra balance that North Melbourne have got. Yes, and I think the St Kilda defence uh, was caught a little bit out there as uh, when the whistle had gone and I think they all stopped and then nobody was running at uh, Sparger to at German I should say to put any sort of pressure on him so again inexperience showing in the defense of the Saints I think German stopped a little bit too didn't he, he wasn't quite sure either so those two goals in the time on period by North Melbourne could prove costly for St Kilda 16 points the difference now nearly 31 minutes gone in the third term North Melbourne have made a good comeback after the Saints really put pressure on them German gets the kangaroos out of the centre once again up towards Phil Cracker Glenn Dinning fires out a long hand pass Hodges got a hand to it Jimmy Cracker's there again left foot snapshot close what a great goal another goal in the time on period and North Melbourne are alive now at the MCG 16-16 to 13-12 and Jimmy Cracker putting through his third goal of the night. That was a magnificent goal, Bob. One mover there. What's the hand movement there by Cracker? In replay now, we see Hodges bring the ball down. Glenn Denning 
tapped on by Hodges, and then Jimmy Cracker just taking it. And Hodges has done a great job tonight, and uh, he must be wondering, gee, what have I got to do? I, I've probably broken evens on the night, but Jimmy Cracker's got three goals on the board. Three goals to Cracker, 31 and a half minutes gone. Now, again, 22 points the difference after the Saints got to within three about five minutes ago, I think it was. McCann thumps that one out of the centre. The Saints go forward again through Burns. He's played a great game tonight. Up towards half forward and Barker. He's playing it. He's got to play it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, did he hold, hold it long enough, but he certainly paid the mark. He's uh, looked though he's hurt his ankle. He, oh, he brought it down. I think he hurt his hip when he crashed into his opponent there, did he? Not for the ankle. A long way from goal. Well, a great want... kick to get one from there, surely. Well, they want this goal before siren time, Pete. Bad. They certainly do. 32 and a quarter minutes gone. Skipper's shot looks pretty good. I think he's dealt with a great kick by Trevor Barker. Barker brings up his second, so it goals galore in the latter stages of the third term. 16-16 to 14-12. 96 plays 112. Yes, Barker's in trouble with that ankle down there. I know the trainers again, are telling him now. What's that again? It's Burns now, and replay puts the ball forward. Lovely mark by Barker, and I think it's his ankle he's had problems with this year. And he's just there. Looks though he came down on it. He's done well in this term. Nearly 33 minutes gone now, 16-16 to 14-12. St Kilda still very much in with the chance, but it's uh, up towards the half-back position, and the mark is taken by Lamb, and then gets the Saints out of the danger zone up to their half-forward area. Just on the th 33 and a half minute mark, picked up by Ackley, ball out wide towards the wing position. There's uh, Jimmy Cracker again. He's kicked three goals for the night. Goes for a short pass, looking for Phil. He's found him. He never misses it. I don't know why he said that. He found it because they've yet to see them miss each other when they go for a pass. A 15 metre penalty for uh, Phil Cracker. This brings him right down to the half-forward line. Going for a short pass. It'll be a good one and marked here by German. There's the sign to win the third quarter. What a beauty it was, too. We see the scores that uh, we're waiting now for the kick uh, this time uh, from Germany. He's a long way out at centre-half. Well, he's already kicked one goal. Doesn't make the distance. So at three-quarter time, North Melbourne still in front. North Melbourne score. 16 goals, 16, 100. 12 to North Melbourne, 14, 12, 96. 16 points for difference as we begin the final quarter at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. This game from round six of the 86 season, North 112, St Kilda 96. Can the Saints come back? They got to within three points in the third quarter. Keel and Arsiri, they've had a great battle all night. Arsiri wins this one out, fires out a long hand pass, chance for Gamble, but he fumbles. German tries to three his way through, gives it out to Jonas, almost a throw. Jonas has a shot at goal, might have been touched by Elkinston as the ball dribbles through for one point. So 17 points now in favour of North Melbourne. They trailed by four points at quarter time, led by 18 at half time, 16 at the final change. Elkinston goes towards the outer side. At the back is Glenn Dinning, tries to punch the ball clear, still. Atkins was tried to get into the open spaces. Hodges runs into his own teammate down there in Jones, but that was just about a throw. In fact, the umpire has paid it as such. A scoop. And Gary Hodges got a nasty knock there. I think when he ran into Wow, I'm not quite sure. I'm sure it was. Wow oh. couldn't get out of his way. <laughs> At least Wow went and picked him up. <laughs> oh, You'd feel like kicking him in the leg, wouldn't you, if you're a little black like Hodges? McConville's kick. Oh, now towards Keel, and that will be a free kick. So a lot of courage, Keel. I think he's played a good game tonight. I know a series played well, but so has this little fella too, Bob. It's been one of the duels of the night. That yeah, one, it's hasn't been it? a great one. Ten kicks, ten handballs, uh, Keel. Yeah, that's not bad. From the left half-back flank, Peter Keel. Trying to find Burns. Spargo. Right centre wing. He's already kicked three goals for North Melbourne. Still he goes. No one cutting any, coming at him. Finally, Gary Hodges does just that. Spargo goes for a long kick, and it certainly is such. Into the forward pocket. Two St Kilda players are there with the ball over the boundary line. No, it's witty. He uh, keeps the ball in play. It looked as though it was over. Taylor tries to knock the ball clear. Does so. This time it has crossed the line. And there will be a boundary throw-in at the right half-forward flank for North Melbourne as we approach the two-minute mark of the final turn. Jones and Glenn Dinning. Cracker. Short kick. Up towards the full forward position. Oh, and, kick. oh no free kick given. The oh, ball. I don't know why. Everybody else on the ground saw that one. McConville goes for a long hand pass up to Rogers. He's in trouble. Fumbles the ball.
very slippery. In comes Gamble to try and receive the tree the situation. Jimmy Cracker tries to get clear. Almost a throw. He's bustled out of position. Very scrambly play at centre field, and it's going to be a bounce. Just on the two and a half minute mark by Kelly. That was a free kick there to McCann for sure. There's only one person at this ground didn't see it. <laughs> 113 plays, 96 in favour of North Melbourne. Saints still with a big chance. Back it goes to Fashini. He was grabbed. Uh, that was Cracker getting it out now to Jonas from centre half forward. A long kick, but coming across this time is Woody to take the mark at full back. A hand pass coming over to Lamb, a short one. They've got to go for the long kick and get it down quickly to lock it. Ball out wide now towards the wing position. This uh, Cunningham, he got one too high and he'll take a free kick. North Melbourne crowd not too happy about that free kick after missing McCann's one. Short pass. Still messing about. The ball punched out again by Ackley. Going in there as Love knocks the ball over to Ackley again. He's grabbed. Coming in as little Keel. Couldn't pick it up. It's on the boundary line. Spinning out as Jobling. Good play. As the Saints get it back there, Barker couldn't mark that one. There's Jimmy Cracker. Breaking clear. He's already kicked three goals. The ball drops short. He's down. Cracker's down. I think he'll be okay. And the mark taken here now by McConville. A short pass to Jobling. Jobling's got it out there on the wing. Uh, Hickey grabbed him around the neck. Could be a 15-metre penalty. The umpire said, no, there's a short pass. And to Cunningham ready to go back at Cracker. <laughs> He's nearly the square up. I think I'd uh, hesitate a little bit because uh, Jimmy can look after himself. The ball across the centre. Oh, he ball. flattened him. Free Cunningham kick. flattened Cracker behind Oh, play. golly. He's, oh, he staggered him. He doesn't quite know where he is. The ball picked up by Cunningham now up towards Lockett. Lockett and Law having a great battle. Comes to Barker. A hand pass comes out to Fashini. Always dangerous. Oh, at the back there that time was Peter Budd, but couldn't hold the mark, and it's through for one point. Oh, he's only bumped him. Yes, that was. And <laughs> uh, a, flat, a good move by the North Runner. I think Jimmy might have uh, gone straight at him, but the North Runner was very quick to grab hold of uh, Jimmy Cracker and make sure that there was no tempers. Uh, really going on well the ball to go back because Ackley kicked off before the umpire finished waving so it's four and a half minutes gone of this final quarter 113 plays 97 16 points the difference in favor of North Melbourne Hodges hasn't done a bad job tonight running with him as Lamb he takes it down towards the left forward pocket thumped away by Law again Fashini doesn't get the favorable bounce Hickey paddles it out in front of him Atkins Long hand pass to Steele. Steele from the right half back flank. McConville and Jonas. That's uh, Witty. Short pass. And towards the centre circle, and the mark is taken again by Gary Hodges. Tries to get clear of Phil Cracker, which he does. Short pass again out towards right half forward. Barker. And after the marker was missed by Love, Barker's kicked down towards Cunningham again. Oh, Burns it is. He missed the mark. Spargo got into his back, flicks out the hand pass to Steele. Still gets North Melbourne out of the danger zone. Up to Atkins on right centre wing. He's got a panic to move and he'll get around. Wow, Jones, OK, he does. Out towards right half forward, trying to find Glendinning or Norman. And Norman takes the mark a long way from goal. Decides to go for a pass. McCann can't take the mark. Gives the hand pass to German. German, a long hand pass. That has come unstuck. Or is it a free kick to Norman for holding the man? Bad tackle. And Norman within kicking distance, about 40 metres from goal. He's kicked one, and the chance to put North Melbourne further ahead. Taking plenty of time. At a 45 degree angle. Maybe a little bit more. Shocking kick, out of bounds on the full. Much to the delight of the St Kilda supporters, and uh, McConville will take the free kick in the left back pocket. To the outer side, or the mark is uh, missed down there, or is it a 15 metre penalty? Oh, no, it's going back, Pete. And the front will begin to take the kick. St Kilda have been in this match and right throughout the night. North haven't been able to open up a decisive break. The Saints got to within three points in the third quarter as McConville again takes the kick. The pack of players out there. Jones in front. Norman spoons out a hand pass taken away by Burns. He's played a tremendous game tonight, Burns. Big stack of players out there over the head of Atkins. Hodges, Hodges has the chance to get clear. And he goes for a short pass. The mark dropped by Cunningham. Fashini can't pick it up. Oh, what's that? Budge goes down. Oh, Peter Budge, a cracker gets it out. Gets oh. flattened in the meantime. 
Over it comes now to Love, a running shot at goal. This could be good. Yes, it's a goal. Well, Cracker's down, he's still on the ground. Yeah. Norman down, there's two North Melbourne players. Got a touch of the staggers there, but I think he'll be okay. Yes, Phil Cracker looks okay to me. So the scoreboard, let's watch that goal again, Bob. As Peter Budge is tackled, loses possession. Good tackle by Hickey, beautifully picked up. I mean, we saw there as Phil Cracker caught one, and Jason Love, after taking a lovely hand pass from Phil Cracker, puts it through. Just over the seven and a half minute mark. Norman might be coming off the ground. He got one in the mouth, I think. 119 plays, 97 in favour of North Melbourne. Back it goes down to Jonas. A hand pass coming over to Spargo, showing a lot of dash. There's another long kick towards the goal, but he's off target, and it'll go through for one point. So North Melbourne move on now to uh, 17 goals, 18, 120, to St Kilda, 14, 13, 97. But every time you think North Melbourne's got the game sewn up, St Kilda bounce back, but they can't head him off at all. So North Melbourne would be a little bit stiff to lose this one tonight because they've led all night. McConville got one in the back and the umpire spotted that against Jonas. Oh, he headbutted uh, uh, Jonas in the stomach that time. He could lose it. Him. Yes, he's going to take it off him. No, he's not. Could have been lucky, Bob. I think he just gave, gave him a warning, but uh, it could easily have lost it. Certainly could have. You watch him now. So, oh, I reckon it was a free <laughs> kick. <laughs> A dangerous spot there, too. I'll tell you, as the ball finally comes out towards that wing position, forced over the line and out of bounds. Out of bounds, still on North Melbourne's uh, half forward line, about 75 metres around from the, the goals. And it's been a great game, 120 plays, 97. North Melbourne have had to struggle all the way to get away from them. Burns gets a kick off the ground. Back it goes now. There's Hickey, he's battled hard all night. Out towards the wing position, tapped on beautifully by uh, Jonas over to Dwyer. A running shot at goal. Will it come around enough, Mark? And touch one on the line by Whitty and through for another point. Lovely play by Jonas. 17-19, 121 North Melbourne. St Kilda, 14-13-97. The ball back into play again. There's a chance now for Keeley. Dropped that one. He hasn't made many mistakes tonight, but that was one. Picked up by Spargo down towards the forward pocket. Ball juggle off the top of the pack that time by German. Cracker comes out again. A short pass by Jimmy Cracker. The ball marked here by German. Round about the uh, half-forward flank position. He's already kicked one goal. He'd be about 35, 40 metres out from goal directly in front. Good play. He's had a good season, this fellow. Just on the 10-minute mark of this last quarter. The kick on its way. But he's off target and through for another point. So it's North Melbourne. 17-20, 122 to St Kilda. 14-13, 97. McConville. Trying to go straight down the ground, that it's certainly time for St Kilda to do just that. Hickey was the high flyer at the back, didn't drag in the mark. Now Siri going in very solidly. And the umpire has decided on a bounce at the North Melbourne centre half forward position. Ten and a half minutes gone, final quarter. 122 plays 97. So 25 points in favour of North. Another goal could probably just about seal it for them. No one making any headway there. Jimmy Cracker, both the Cracker boys in the wars tonight, but they've got the bumps and worn them well. Elphinston, he's been solid tonight. Now towards the half-back line. Phil Cracker this time shows them how it's done, hooks it back in front of goal. Little last series there and takes them out. And he's already kicked two goals. And as I said, another one would make it just about safe, I think, for North Melbourne. Here's the mark again as we watch it in replay. Certainly was the percentage kick from Cracker. Our uh, Siri didn't let him down, although he's got an attack of the staggers here. Now yeah, that one looks okay, or has it hit the post? It's hit the post, so the Saints look to fight another day, perhaps. 17-21 to 14-13, a difference of three goals. Uh, what's that, eight? Oh, he's off McConville. No doubt about that. Keel, short kick around the boundary line. That might be out of bounds on the full, is it? No. Thought it might have been, but a boundary throw-in will take place right next to the player's interchange area, which is uh, close enough to the centre wing area. Jones at the back. Palms it over his head, trying to find Burns. Does so. Spargo fumbles. Cunningham just about threw that one out. 
Finally picked up Vaughan, killed it down there by Lamb. Lamb's kick is a short one, and the marker is taken by McDonald. McDonald at the left half-back flank. At the half forward, Jones at the back got two hands to it, spilled it. McConville offloaded. In goes Love. Went without the ball. Umpire Ian Robinson will bounce it. Left half forward flank for the Kangaroos. Hanging on to their lead. And led by 18 points at half time, 16 at three quarter time, and they've increased that in this final term so far. They lead by 26 at the moment. Knocked away by Jones once more. Jonas takes the hand pass from Atkins up towards the full forward position again for the Kangaroos. Now the opportunity for Dwyer if he can gather it in. Good smother down there by Witte. Loose ball. German tries to pick it up. In goes Keel. Gets another hand pass out. Atkins tries to thump it further forward. That's successful. Very scrambly play. The ball out of bounds in North Melbourne's forward pocket. Just over the 13-minute mark of this last quarter. North Melbourne still leading by 26 points. 123 plays, 97. So they're certainly giving the Saints plenty of chances by missing those goals. The ball driven up that time by Lamb out towards the wing position. Barker got under that one. Well, they all miss it. Finally, it kicked off the ground that time by Frawley back towards the boundary line. But at least it's up towards uh, St Kilda's half forward line. It's about 75 metres around from their goal. They badly need one at the 13 and a half minute mark of the last quarter. They've got to get that ball up to uh, Lockett quickly. He's already kicked five goals. He played an amazing uh, third quarter when he went into the ruck, certainly livened things up there for him. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't come back in there again. Taken off the pack by Cunningham, picked up by Love. The ball back there to North Melbourne's centre wing position. Flying high as Jonas has played a pretty effective game tonight. Over to Steele. They go back into attack, the Kangaroos. Now over their half forward line. Punched on by a series. Grabbed here by Gamble. He got one a bit high. He might get a free kick. I think he will. Not a heavy one that time from German. He really blitzed him as the ball finally comes back there to uh, Witte. Witte's kick is back to centre half forward. The ball tapped on. Ackley missed that. Well, they were going out the pack. There's a stack up here for sure. And the umpire will ball it up about 50 metres out from the St Kilda goal. 14-13 to uh, North Melbourne. 17-21. Just over the 14 and a half minute mark of this uh, last quarter. Do you give him much of a chance, Bob? Oh, I think it's, uh, the gap's too wide at the moment, and they can't get the ball in a decisive way past the half-forward line. Notice that Ackley was limping there too. Ball punched away by Frawley, again by Burns, but Jimmy Cracker, he's a great player, this guy, as he kicks it wide out to the wing, looking for a series, found him, he very rarely misses a man. There's a series kickers around there, and Norman's grabbed it, he's jugging the ball, the umpire's caught playing, he gets a kick up towards the full forward position, Glenn Denning's got it. And Glenn Denning would be about uh, 35 metres out on a bit of an angle, but could easily kick this one. And if he gets yet to score a goal... In replay, we see Norman playing on from taking the mark and Glenn Denning the opportunity of kicking his first goal. There he comes in now, Glenn Denning, the acting captain today. Kick is not a good one, so they're still giving the Saints a chance to bounce back if they're good enough. 15 and a half minutes gone. It's 17 22, uh, 124 North Melbourne, St Kilda 14 13 97. As we wait now for the ball to come back into play by McConnell. 27 points the difference. So the Saints leading five goals in about 15 minutes without North Melbourne scoring. One goal six they've kicked this quarter, Pete. Well, look German. at them a chance, aren't they? Really? On down to Dwyer, Cunningham has the ball. It's not going to be his for much longer, it's going to be a bounce. Yes, they're giving them a chance, but as Bob said, they're breaking down across the half-forward line. And St Kilda yet to score a goal in this quarter. They've added only one point. And as you saw then, we've been playing just past the 16-minute mark. Knocked down by Jones, picked up by Jimmy Cracker. And too long for McConville. He misjudged that one badly underneath the lights. Jonas, very effective up forward and a pretty accurate kick as a rule. He's hit that uh, on the post, has he? One point. 17-23, so that's 1-7. Robert? 125 to 97. Number 32 for St Kilda is jobbling. Jonas is having a good year out there in the half forward flank. Short pass. A can in front. Oh, he's well clear. That's a goal. You can put down your glasses on that one. And Stephen McCann's first goal makes it would appear the game safe for North Melbourne. 18-23, 131 to 14-13. 97. Well, I certainly would have played the mark to Gamble there. So as we would have I, Bob. Watch it on replay now. And Gamble in the front position. 
And oh. I, th I thought he held it long enough. And the umpire didn't. McCann took full advantage of it. And it was his first goal, and that came up at the 17-minute mark of the final term. So things looking rather bleak now for the Saints. McCain's first goal, 131 to 97. Lockett back in the ruck for Forson Kildren. He played very well there in the third quarter, but of course he's also kicked five goals. Spargo can't get rid of the ball. It's very scrambly at centre field. Finally, it's picked up by Burns. Down towards Frawley at half forward. Recovering better is uh, Fairley. So he killed the player down. Frawley. Keel. Just about had his head pulled off, and he'll take the free kick at left half back flank. Just on the 18-minute mark. Frawley's limping, but he's on his feet. Chance now for St Kilda to go back to the centre of the ground. It's marked here by Burns, who hasn't stopped trying all night. He breaks clear. It's away from Spargo. Short pass. Coming out as Barker got under that one. Hickey's grab. Still taps the ball on good by play by Hickey. Took Jimmy Cracker over his brother Phil. And he's running straight down to centre half. Fought a perfect pass to Atkins. Gets around his opponent, Lamb. Back it goes again, over to German, back to Atkins. They're messing about a short pass. And uh, Phil Cracker's got the mark, about 35 to 40 metres out from goal. He's going for a short pass, it'll be OK. And the ball marked here, only about uh, 25 metres out by Love. So Love's on a bit of an angle, but could easily kick this goal. And North Melbourne are in front by 131 to 97, and Love's already kicked a goal. Well, he's improved with every game, this fellow. Looked a bit raw when he started. We watched him play the first match, I think, against Collingwood, but he's getting better every game. He's only a youngster, so he could have a future. Oh, that's a shocking kick. The moment you give them a wrap, they let you down as the ball goes for the boundary line. It's out of bounds, beating Keel there. You see uh, Campbell. Gamble down, showing a bad trot. Ball out of bounds, about 30 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. They're 131 to 97. Ball hits the deck again. This is uh, Lamb trying to force the ball over. Little Keel still trying hard. Kicked it off the ground after missing it. Back it goes to Lockett. Now playing in the ruck. Of course, he's already kicked five goals. Missing that one was uh, coming in. Picked up by Jimmy Cracker. Hand pass to German. A long shot at goal. And that'll be OK. Another one to North Melbourne. German second. So it's North Melbourne now looking good. 19, 23, 137 to St Kilda. 14, 13, 97. So it's all over, all over now, Bob Barthes shouting. Well, <clears throat> the Cracker Brothers certainly, they make a lie of suggesting that Western Australians can't handle a little bit of dampness or uh, wet weather, <laughs> whatever you like. They yeah. are just one-touch players. 20 minutes gone in the final term. 19.23 to 14.13. 137 plays 97, 40 points the difference in favour of the Kangaroos. So seemingly well in control of this match now. The same tip to score a goal in this final quarter. No one making any headway there. Another bounce to take place, just wide of the centre circle. And Burns yeah. hobbling down to the forward line, Pete. Uh, that might have been why he was there in the second quarter. Yes, yeah, down the uh, edge of the square there. Knocked away by Jonas. Might be the opportunity for Dwyer. He's the man with the pace, but Elfinson stands his ground well. Dwyer's still in there, gets it out to Love. Love again. Down towards the goal, he had a shot, and I think he's missed it and put it through for only one point. 19.24. So they've kicked three goals, eight this quarter now. 138 to 97, 41 points in favour of the Roos. At the back of the pack, the mark taken by Evans. He's off pretty quickly, up towards the right centre wing position, showing a good turn of speed. Ball hits the deck. Socket away up towards the edge of the square again, Elphinstone. A long way from the defensive area, Steele fumbles, Barker likewise. Elphinstone in there again, finally it's picked up by Byrne, oh, he runs great straight into the dryer, gets it out to Gary Hodges, his left foot snapshot will be close, it won't be a goal, Fashini goes in solidly, so too does Law, it's out of bounds, in St Kilda's right forward pocket. Well that was Hutton's hands and bacon, <laughs> don't argue there, but was a beauty, wasn't it? And you're allowed to do that too. The Jack Dyer job. Yeah. <laughs> Except Jack used to hit him a bit higher. Jones hits it over the back. Trying to find Taylor down there. Picked up by Cracker. Cracker's gone for a long hand pass. Dwyer. Who's he got? Steele. Close to the boundary line. It's over once more, but North Melbourne moving it away from the goals. And it's now about 35 to 40 metres from the scoring area. 22 minutes gone in the final quarter. Frawley. Hits that one down. Evans, 
tries to affect a hand pass. On it goes to Taylor. Taylor's kick into the goal square. Jones almost a mark. Tried it one-handed. Law beats him to it. His kick is short, though. Will it be out of bounds? Yes, but not on the full. And the ball bouncing over the line. And we'll see a boundary throw in left half-forward flank for St Kilda. 22 and a half minutes into the final quarter. Frawley and McDonald. Knock on by Taylor. And Jimmy Cracker got one a little bit too high, and Cracker will take the free kick at the right half-back flank for North Melbourne. Just on the 23-minute mark of this last quarter, 43 points the difference in favour of uh, North Melbourne. Ackley gets a kick out wide, but German couldn't pick it up in time, and it's out of bounds. Still on St Kilda's half-forward line, 19-24, 138 to 14, 13, 97. So it's 41 points the difference. Well, it's the deck. Chance for St Kilda to get clear. And that was uh, Odges falling over. Umpire still letting things go on as we see McConville get the ball down to half forward. Picked up by Ackley. Got a touch of the stumbles there, but he's okay. Certainly slipping and sliding. Atkins goes back to McDonald. Takes his time, a short pass. And it's German grabbing the ball out there on the centre wing position. It's only a matter of going through the motions for North Melbourne now because they've got them truly done now. As we see McCann take a pretty good mark out there on that uh, half forward flank about 75 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Just on the 24 minute mark. St Kilda were pretty strong up until this quarter but they've faded out completely. A short pass and the ball grabbed here by Norman. McDonald I should say. See the five. Good mark to gamble that time. And he's had a couple of grabs, Mister, but he made sure of that when he's gone for hand pass. But what a shocker it was! He'd be better off dropping the mark as it comes back here now. A chance for the ball to be taken away again. That time by Hodges out there towards that half forward line, picked up by Barker. He's grabbed, got a hand pass, intercepted by Steele. Cop one right across the cheeks that time into his back. That time was jobbling, and the ball is out of bounds. But it's down there on uh, St Kilda's half four line. This time it's only about 60 metres around from their goal. But the way they're playing it at the moment must seem like about seven miles. They scored only one point this quarter, Luke. Not very good, Pete. After putting in three good quarters against North Melbourne and giving them a run for their money. Hand pass coming out that time uh, from Keel. Back to Barker, up towards Wow Jones and Law. Jones dropped that mark, picked up by Law. It's smothered by Cunningham, but backing up well as uh, Ackley was grabbed by the foot. Umpire call play on, paying the advantage when it comes to a Siri. Law copped a heavy one from uh, Lock at that time, but there's a Siri backing out beautifully and drives it long down and wanted to full forward position. Glenn Denning comes out, goes after it again, misses it, picked up again by Gambley as a fresh air shot. He was grabbed, he had a little trouble into the back. Now he's called play on, it's picked up by Lamb, a hurried kick back there towards the wing position, and the ball marked there at, uh, well, towards half back by uh, Alfredson. Over it goes to Keel. Alphing says kick is back in the centre of the ground. This will be a mark now to Cunningham on his own. He's gone for hand pass. Oh, he's nearly lost it. Uh, wow, Jones goes for the hand pass again. Over this time to Peter Budge. A long shot at goal. Can they get their first for the quarter? They have. They certainly worked hard for that one, Bob. That's Peter Budge's second goal. I see Budge has only just come back onto the ground to replace the injured Burns. And uh, so Burns really hobbling around the ground. And we see Wow Jones... And a little bit of bother, but then recovered. Got it out to Peter Budge, and he finishes it off with a nice goal. Two goals to Peter Budge. And that one came up at the 25 and a half minute mark of the quarter. The first for the quarter, too, Pete. Yes, and killed his first goal for the quarter. Peter Budge's second, 138, plays 103, so 35 points the difference. It'll be a North Melbourne ball game, but St Kilda have fought it out pretty well. This has been their worst term. They were certainly well in it at three-quarter time, but they haven't been able to go on with it. Taylor going in there solidly, and it's going to be a bounce. Glenn Denning off, Segler on. He'll be the first run, I think, for Segler tonight. The big fellow. We did see him in action in the Foster's Cup on Tuesday, number 51. There he is. Nicely built fella to it. <laughs> He's pretty solid. McDonald, still full of uh, jumping. Spargo from right half forward flank up to Segler, palms the ball down, he's got a chance to score, now he gives it over to McCann, McCann has a right foot snapshot and has put it out of bounds on the full. Actually Segler did, or Segler did a couple of nice things on uh, Tuesday night with a couple of hand passes too Bob. Showed a bit of mobility for big fella. Yep. It's 
gamble from Hodges. Still out at the half-back flank for North, or half-forward uh, flank for North Melbourne. Picked up by Dwyer, he's gone for a short pass. It's a real hospital run. But Peter German, more than equal to the occasion, took a fine mark. It was a gutsy grab. German from half-forward, he's gone for a pass. St Kilda's defence very loose at the moment, and that's Spargo taking the mark. 27 and a half minutes gone, Spargo's already kicked three goals. And from there, it would appear feels confident of making it four. Son of a former Footscray player. And he's kicked into the man on the mark. His father wouldn't be too happy with that. Lamb tries to spin out with the ball. Spargo's got a second chance. He gives it to Atkins. Atkins over to Cracker. They can go from here. Jonas off the side of the boot. Into the goal square. Siegler. It'll be a play on call from the umpire. Wasn't the required 10 metres. And Kilda defending desperately down there. And it's going to be a bounce right on the edge of the, the, uh, the kickoff square. 28 minutes gone in the final quarter. So North Melbourne should be able to notch up their third win of the season. 19-24 to 15-13, the scoreboard on Sevens Big League. North Melbourne's fourth match under lights this year, including those at VFL Park. Knocked down by Wow Jones, picked up by Atkins. He has a snapshot at goal, and it's either out of bounds or a point. It's from Latter. And so a further point to the Kangaroos. They've kicked plenty of those in this quarter. That's their ninth, 19-25 to 15-13. 36 points the difference. We approach the 29-minute mark. Alfingston goes for a short pass. It'll be OK. And Mark down there in the back pocket. For St Kilda by Jones. This is foolish play. Going right across goals. They've messed about with short passing all this quarter. Going high was McConville. Picked up by Lamb. Lamb gets the ball. Bad miss that time by Gamble. Coming in now is Evans. Boots it off the ground up to half forward. Out to meet it is Lockett. He's kicked five goals. He gets away from Law. His kick is not a good one. That's most unlikely. Picked up by... Phil Cracker goes to fire, or tries to find Law, but it's out of bounds. So it's out of bounds on the St Kilda half forward line, about 60 metres around from their goal. They're trying to go. It's the siren to win the match. And North Melbourne have come out winners, convincing winners in this last quarter. 19 25, 139 North Melbourne to St Kilda 15 13, 103.